guys. So, here we go. Uh, well, you can see what it is. I guess I don't need to tell you what it is. Uh, we're gonna play some Ocarina, but we're gonna play... We're actually gonna play the 3DS remake. Because I've never played it, and I want to check it out. So, give me one second here. I gotta get the, uh... Gotta get the tweet, and then we should be ready to go. Um... Yeah, I mean, this isn't like a... I mean, I've played this game before. I played, obviously, the N64 one when I was a kid. But it's been a long time. Uh, it's been a long time since i played this game. Like, a long time. I haven't played it since I was a small bab. So... Uh... So it's, it's been a long time. Uh, I probably played this game when I was like, uh, I don't know, nine or ten, I would say. Uh, so, yeah, it's been a while. But I mean, and I mean, the N64 one's not bad. It aged pretty well, I would say. But the 3DS remake looks pretty nice. The biggest thing is uh, 3DS emulation is pretty good these days. Like, I could play this like four times native. It looks a lot nicer than the N64 one does. So, yeah, we're going to play this one. Uh, so I, I've never played the remake, so I'm, I'm kind of interested to check it out. So this is, um, this is my first time playing Ocarina in quite a long time, so not really a blind run, but I'm by no means like a Zelda professional at all. Uh, so it should, be, it should be pretty interesting. I don't know how bad or good I'm going to do the Zelda. Uh, it almost feels a little bit loud. Well, we'll roll with it for a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. It doesn't really seem that loud. Uh, the touchscreen is very small because of the way I have the windows set up. But the touchscreen is basically useless, so... For the sake of having the gameplay... Because, I mean, this game actually... I did a little test run. This game looks really nice. Uh, this game looks really nice upscaled. It's running at four times native resolution. Uh, it, looks, it looks really nice. In the vast deep forest of Harul. Hyrule. Long as I long have I served as the guardian spirit. I'm known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. There he is. I mean, like, it's amazing, uh, I mean, this game still isn't, like, you know, amazing graphically, but the 3DS remake at higher than native looks, it looks pretty sharp. It looks pretty nice for an old game. But it still pretty much has, it has pretty much all of the charm of the original, I would say, still. It just looks nicer. It doesn't have, like, that remake syndrome where the game... They, they remake it or remaster it, and then, and then, you know, it looks like crap. Like, it looks it looks the same, just nicer. Uh, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Yeah, it's like a nice, it's like a fresh coat of paint for the old, for the old Ocarina of Time. Oh, Navi the fairy. Listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil descending upon this realm. Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world, depends upon thee. Get him, Navi. Yeah, I really, you know, I have a lot of nostalgia for this game. I played this, it's been a long time, but I, this was one of my favorite N64 games, because it was like, this and Mario 64 were like amazing to me when I was a kid. 
you know, you had this huge 3D world that you could just explore and you could go wherever and there was basically no loading screens, no nothing. You know, you could just, it was, it was huge. You know, playing this when I was a kid was like playing Breath of the Wild a couple, you know, last year was for me. It was, it was amazing. It just completely blew my mind at the time what it was. So, I'm, I'm pretty psyched to play this game again. I might play through Majora's Mask again as well. Uh, probably not right in a row. But this was kind of my test bed to see how well 3DS emulation works these days. Because unfortunately, uh, I don't have... I have a 3DS, but it's not capture modded. So the only way for me to stream 3DS stuff is through emulator. Uh, and I, did this, I figured this would be a good game to test it out with. And it works pretty well. Hello, Link. Wake up. The great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. Link, get up. Hey, come on. Can Hyrule's Destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? And as far as- I don't think they redid the translation or anything at all. I'm pretty sure all the dialogue is basically unchanged. Truthfully, I'm not even really sure what they did... To, I'm really not even sure what they changed when they ported this to the 3DS. Uh, you finally woke up. I'm Navi the Fairy. The Great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The Great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. Yeah, I mean, I really don't know what they did besides kind of retouch up the graphics a little bit. But, I mean, if you've played... If you've played Ocarina of Time lately, and then you look at this, I mean, it's 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 night and day. It looks it looks substantially nicer. I just wanna... Okay. I was having some weird analog stick issues the other day. I think I got those ironed out. But yeah, I mean, when's the last time you've seen Kokiri Forest look this nice? So, unfortunately, you know, as long as the N64 has been around... Hi, Link. The, uh, the N64 emulation situation is not as good as you would expect for a console that's as old as it is. Uh, so let's see here. We got the L instead of Z target. And then, so B is sword, A is your roll, and then Y and X are your, like, C buttons, I guess, basically. Wow, a fairy. Finally, a fairy came to you, Link. Wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true cookery, Link. Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you. It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the Great Deku Tree. We gotta see... Robin's favorite asshole Kokiri. Is that sure it was Kokiri or like Kokiri or what the deal was with that? But I was gonna stick with Kokiri. True Ocarina style. Just roll. Roll around everywhere. Uh, so you have to get kind of... Kind of used to the control scheme again. It's been... It'd be nice... Well, I guess I don't know. This was new 3DS only, I think, so there was the C-Stick. I wish there was some kind of camera control on the C-Stick versus the, the N64 style, where all you have is the... It's basically centering the camera. But it's alright. It's workable. But it's gonna take me... It's gonna take me a little bit to get reaccustomed to this control scheme. For sure. We'll grab some cat... Oh, I should've talked to her while I was up there. Hey, by the stone, pick it up. Mean old Mido, he's making me pick up the rocks in front of his house. And yeah, I'm just seeing old Kukri Forest right away. Oh, Fairy, you finally came to you. Now you have a lot to learn. The best place to go to learn some new skills is in the Forest Training Center. It's on the hill just above here. Yeah, I don't think we need to go to the Training Center. Uh, it's funny, like, the early game in Ocarina is still fresh in my mind. Like, I can still remember the early game, no problem. It's actually, it's when, it's once you become a grown-up Link that things get fuzzy for me. I remember some of the early palaces, uh, but I don't remember a lot of the late game, truthfully. Uh, a lot of what happens once you get the Master Sword is pretty fuzzy for me. So I'm probably still going to struggle with some of the puzzles a little bit. But, yeah, we'll see how things go. Okay, so first order of business... Oh, that's right, I can't, I can't pull the bushes. We're gonna go, go snag ourselves a sword here, I guess. Yeah, it's nice, and you get to see more of the screen, too. They move the whole UI to the second screen. So you get to see... You get to see more of the good stuff. And it's like, like upscale. Uh, I think it's, this game is running at a little bit higher than 720p. Uh, 
forget what the... Because the, the 3DS has a weird resolution on the top screen. It's not quite 16.9. So it's like something by 900. It's, it's kind of a weird... Kind of a weird setup. But, okay, so we have sword. And you actually have to control your inventory via the lower screen. So I have to equip the sword from there. But, there we go. So we have... We now have a small sword. Get a... Is there money in here? Oh, I already got the money in there. I'm gonna get run over by the rock. <laughs> uh, so we need to get uh, a shield as well. Because otherwise Mido won't let us through to see our, our pal, the Dinka Tree. So we need to get our hands on a little more cash money. Uh, let's see here. Cash and you. There's a little bit. Get, I think the Dinka shield is like 30. No, I think it's more than 30. I think we need a little bit more. All we currently have. A little bit more cash money. Let's see. This is Mido's house. Let's break all his shit. He's a dick anyway. Or no, this is Mido's house. This is the training area, I think. Right? If you want to learn about the map and items, just ask me, but don't ask unless you want to hear a long explanation. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to thank you, though. <laughs> Thanks, I'm good. Um... I'd say mechanically, this is a pretty simple game. It's not like, uh, nothing super crazy. You know, it's, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. I think it might be 40. It's 40 or 50. So, we'll, I mean, we basically, we have 40 right now. There should be another ruby. There we go. Let's, let's check the shop. Let's see. We'll buy ourselves a shield. We should be ready to roll. So this is the... I guess I had to rewrite things a little bit just for the new controls. But so this is like the Z-targeting tutorial. That's how you use a fairy. It's so great that you finally have a fairy partner. I'll teach you how to talk to people using your fairy. When a fairy flies near a person or thing, press L to look in that direction. Okay. We, we know about... We know about L-targeting, Z-targeting, whatever you want to call it. I'm good there. Hey, pal. I need... I need that. 40 rupees. Okay. So we got the garbage. And I need to also equip that. So our, our shield button up. Okay. So let's see here. Let's get that equipped. That should be enough to satisfy pal Milo. Mido? Milo. Uh, let's see. Yes, yeah, so the Deku tree is over here. This smug, smug little fucker right here. Look at this guy. Look at this fucking guy. He's got some nice moves though. Look at those dance moves he's got. <laughs> yeah, I really, it's still, I think the, I think the art looks great. Like, the new art still, uh, the new art still keeps all of the charm of the old game. It looks, it looks great still. If you want to see the great Dooku tree, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Huh? What's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield. And what's that? Is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? Aye, the great Mido will never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how did you get to be the favorite of the Saria and the great Deku tree, huh? <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Get out of here, fucker. Huh? I can put my moves on you. I'll put the moves all over you. Look at this. I got some, I got some sidestep. I got some, I got some back jump. Look at this. Gotta, gotta re-familiarize myself with the... Oh yeah, got some side jobs. We got lots of good moves here. It's been a little while. So I'm not super... Just gotta kind of re-familiarize -familiar, re myself with all of this. Uh, oh. There's some... There's some, some more Deku sticks here. Oh yeah. Got a Deku stick. Yeah. Okay, so... Got some sticks. Let's see if I can... Oh, there it is. That's what I wanted. A dive. Yeah, I don't think Bab Link has that many moves. I think once you become Grown Up Link, you get more stuff. Uh, Great Deku Tree, I'm back. Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Link, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Link, 
Mike. The time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need thee to break the curse with thy wisdom and courage. Dost thou have the courage enough to undertake this task? Oh yeah. Then enter, Brave Link, and thou too, Navi. Navi the Fairy, thou must aid Link. And Link, when Navi speaks, use Fairy Button <laughs> to listen well to her words of wisdom. You ready for lots of hey listens? Alright, so... Basically, I mean, first dungeon technically, but really like tutorial dungeons, hopefully. It's so the early game I all remember pretty well still, I think. It's it's the later dungeons where things get a little... get a little out there for me. So we'll just, we'll see how things go. I mean, we'll see how things go. Oh, I jumped right into... Yeah. Oh, there we go, we got some nuts. We got some Deku nuts. We can set these as well. We should probably set the stick and the nuts. Uh, so wait, do I... Okay. Easy enough. So there we go. Refill that heart we just lost. If I remember correctly, the nuts stun. Yeah. Nuts stun the Deku plants. Yeah. So it's been it's been a long time since I played OOT, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit of a just kind of remembering process for me, I suppose. So I think what we need we need to we're gonna need to jump from the upper part through that webbing eventually, but there's a few other things we need to do first. I don't think it's high enough from up here. I think we have to go further up to make that jump. But we want to get the Gosh, what is it? The slingshot is in here, I believe. There's some skull tolas. Look at this wall. The wine's growing on it. Give it a rough surface. Maybe you can climb it, Link. Uh, do we get slingshot this early? Is this where the slingshot is? Honestly, do not remember. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, before we do that, let me just, let me just peek up here and see what the dealio is with this room. remember there being like I guess I mean this is this was 3ds this is like bad game so they had to make it they had to give super tutorials uh, I think I need to whoops to bounce bounce nut if I'm not mistaken yes bounce nut <laughs> great little fucker forgive me master if I give you a tip will you let me go when you jump off a high cliff if you hold stick forward you will roll on the ground when you land and won't get hurt from the fall can't guarantee it'll work, though, if the cliff is really, really high. Well, try it if you were feeling bold. Thanks, little dude. I want to get my hands on that slingshot. I think it's this way. I think. I think this is slingshot way. Pretty sure. Don't really remember. It's been quite a while. Let's see what we got in here. Let's, let's swap some items around here. Oh, not gear, sorry. Uh, let's put that on X. The problem here is, so, because of the lack of the C buttons, you only have two keybinds for... You only have two keybinds for... Um, for items. The other ones are touchscreen, and of course, since we're playing this with a mouse, I have to manually click the other item, so it's not quite as intuitive to use the items on one and two. Uh, it's not really very intuitive at all. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit, so I still feel like this is a tad loud. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the volume on the game. Just like, whoops, not that much, <laughs> not that much. That was all the volume. Uh, let's let's try that. Let's see. I just feel like it's still a little loud. I don't want to blow anybody's eardrums out. Okay, so, let's, there we go. So we got Slingshot, we need to head up the other path, 
where the skull spiders are, the skull tallas. And then we'll, uh, and we can jump on the huge, the huge net and make our way down. Oh, let's see how bad, let's see how bad the targeting is. Uh, it's not that bad. I mean, I'm playing this on my Switch Pro Controller, actually. The, I had a weird time getting my, uh, getting the sticks to register properly. I kind of had, like, some weird dead zone issues, so it's still a little finicky, but it seems to be working pretty good. Good enough. And this game isn't, like, super precise targeting or anything, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, it feels so, it's just like, man, it feels weird to be playing this again. Uh, is that far enough? Yes. Yeah, it feels weird to be playing this again, though. That's for sure. Let's see you guys spin, right? Yeah, show me that, show me that belly beat. Oh, yeah. Now we're just gonna hop right in the hole. I'm just gonna, let's see here. Oh, there's another room up here. Forgot about that. Yeah. Old Navi, feels, feels so good to hear you again. <laughs> All right, uh, so we got another room there. I'm assuming that's gonna be compass. Okay, there's three, three skull boys down. Let's check out what's in here. Uh, I think we need to. Okay, we need to stick. We take stick. Do like that. Uh, just open this the way out. To save the stick so it doesn't burn. Uh, whoops. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, buddy. What you doing? What's up with you? Alright, so I think I need to press, press button. I think this makes me some platforms. Oh, yeah. Is head down and we're in good shape. There she is. You found the compass. Come on, fucker. Come on. Huh? Come on. Huh? You gonna go or what? Alright, I'm just gonna chop you up then. I thought it was gonna I thought it was gonna come at me, but I was too scared. Got there. Uh, some slingshot ammo. Okay. Um, so I think there is something. There's just a small chest there. But I kind of want to get what's in there. I don't know if I can hit I can hit you with this from here. Uh, see, so it kind of bounces off. I might have to. Or if I go here, will he drop? Yeah, that's what I need to do. Oh, there's our first uh, gold Skulltella on the wall there, actually. Forgot about that. So yeah, let's uh, let's snag that real quick. And we'll, uh, so now that we have that guy dead, we can make it up here without getting wrecked by the freaking Skulltella. What do we got in here? Oh, we got one heart, but we get to kill. Whoops! Kill this guy. Gotta get them rupees. That is correct. We're gonna do a sweet dive jump onto the Skulltella token. Look at that, look at that pose. Okay, so now we should be ready to jump down into the basement. It's really funny, I remember the basement puzzle area. I remember really struggling with that when I was a kid for whatever reason. It was all so new to me still, you know? 3D Zelda wasn't really a thing then. And like the fire puzzles down in the basement, I mean they're so easy now, but... Small Bab. Small Bab struggled. Alright, so let's just jump, do a little like that. I think that's good enough. Yes, sir. Okay. So, here's the real dungeon. I think if you do this right, I think you can actually dive jump on to... I think I can get this one from here. Pretty sure. I think what I want to do is to do a little something like that. Uh, not quite. I know you can get this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can get this. What do you use for the touchpad? You just use the mouse. So like if I go, like if I want to mess with the stuff down here, you just click. 
Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a little wonky because there's there's only two there's only two spare face buttons to put items on, so you don't have all three C buttons like you normally would on the N64. So they give you two. Uh, how did I miss? How am I still missing? So those those one and two buttons for items are touchscreen only, so it kind of sucks in the sense that there's another gold skulltella here I hear as well. Where are you hiding? Oh, right there. Um, so you get face buttons for two items. I have X and Y, Bounce Slingshot, and Deku Stick. But then the other two I actually have to manually click, so it's kind of clunky. So there's another skull boy down. I figure out how I'm gonna get that token. I know there's a way to get that token. I might have to do it from the higher up side. So we'll just worry about it in a second, because it doesn't seem like I can get it from here. So, yeah, oops. Come on, Link. Yeah, I don't know if I can do it from here. Maybe I should just try jumping normally. Not sure how much distance I get on a normal jump versus a regular. Link, please grab. No, okay, we'll have to do it from the other side. So I gotta remember, I think the switch, I think the switch cracks open the torch. We need to do some stick shenanigans here. Yeah, we gotta do some stick shenanigans to get the door open. Uh, Link, please open chest. Another heart. Okay, so. There we go. But then, so you gotta make sure you don't go in the deep water or you put your stick out. So let's, uh, let's head through here. Oh, we can do another. Whoops. There we go. Please forgive me, Master. I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. You'll never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is 2 3 1. 2 3 1. Okay. Two, three, one. That, show me that spin move. Oh, yeah. Okay, we need to, to shoot eyeball. Two, three, one. Huh. Oh, yeah, I vaguely remember some of this garbage here. Uh, let's see, what is... Oh, yeah, I just want to hit... I want to hit this... So we can actually cross the thing without getting destroyed. Oh, that's right. It's on a timer. Forgot about that part. I might have timed this wrong. I might have timed this part wrong. I don't know. Oh, I guess the timer's pretty generous here. <laughs> yeah, they give you a fair amount of time. It's not really that bad. Oh, you sneaky little bastard. All right, fine. You want some of this? Some of this action? Uh, I really want to do my sweet. Yeah. Okay, so. Yep, thanks. Thanks, Navi. Thank you. I don't remember. I don't remember if the, uh, if the original had all those tutorials like this. It's been a long time. I kind of figure, like, it's maybe that's just, just one of the. Maybe they had to add that in when they re released it for the 3DS. You know? You got the small kids playing, you gotta make sure they figure it out, I guess. But generally, Zelda, like, I'm pretty the time never really held your hand or anything. It was always pretty. It was always pretty, uh, pretty open ended, I would say. Come on. Oh, is that not. Huh. You can't kill him with his own nut. Moves, look at these moves I got, look at this. Let's do a little, like, oh, I lost my lock on. We'll do a little backflip action, oh yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, so let's see here, we need, we need stick. Oh, and they respawn so you can get, uh, things I guess? Or did I just not kill one? I'm not sure if I just missed one or if they actually, can. they want to make sure they give you enough sticks, I guess. Oh, no, they really do respawn, okay. 
Unlimited sticks. Oh, and the and the bushes respawn. Interesting. What is up? What is up there? What the fuck is that? That. I don't remember this. Uh, let's see here. So we need... We need stick. Yeah, I mean, they make it so... You know, you only have, like, two items to begin with. And they give you so much stuff here. It's pretty hard to, uh... Pretty hard to not figure it out. Can I roll with stick? Yes, you can roll with stick. Nice. I wasn't sure if I would put it away or not. Okay, so if we go here, this this leads us back to the beginning when we fell down. I think this opens up like a shortcut if you push push thing. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, we got another. There's another. Huh. Let me see here. I'm gonna hopefully be able to get that Skulltella now from here. <laughs> I hope. I think I can reach him from up here now that I'm a little bit higher. So this kind of gets me like a little shortcut. Whoops. Link, please. Uh, please push. No climb. There we go. So let's, uh, let's kill this thing again. I think I can reach it from here if I do my... I might even just be able to do it with a regular jump from here, actually. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Those, they're not really explained. You can get the Skulltellas earlier than the game explains to you what they're for, so if for some reason someone's watching this who hasn't played this game before, I mean, I'm assuming everybody has played Ocarina at this point in time. At the very least, if you're watching someone play it on the internet, you've probably played it before yourself, so. But if for some reason you don't know what the deal is with the gold spider boys, it'll get explained later, so don't worry about it for the moment. It's so sad, Mr. Matthew. So wait, do I actually just have to attack this with fire stick? I really actually don't remember, because I don't think I can. There's no. Let me let me get my get my free look here. Because there's no way. Yeah, you don't jump from there. I think I may actually just need stick, and you attack with stick, and that opens that. But there's something else back here. So let's go back here real quick. Okay. So so for Mr. Kitty, the one man on earth who hasn't played Ocarina. Make sure to explain the gold Skulltellas later. <laughs> uh, please, camera. I'm not sure if I can even do anything here yet. Oh, that's that's why you want to, because these are little Goma Juniors. That's why you want to shoot things with your slingshot. Otherwise, you get these little fuckers. That's why you want to do that. Is there another one of those up there? Yeah, they're freaking is. Alright, let's 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 take care of that so it doesn't bother me. I don't think... I think I need bombs to get in here, which you don't even have bombs, necessarily. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything here, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think I can do anything here yet. We don't have access to bombs this early on. So I don't think we can do anything there. I don't think we can do anything. So let's uh, just keep going. I guess I guess you need to come back here when you get the bomb back. Gosh, I really don't remember. This game, it's been so long. I mean, realistically, probably closer to like 20 years since I've played this last. It's been it's been a long time. So I think can I reach you from here? No. So I think you actually have to get stick. Light stick down here, and then climb the block with the stick, and then attack the... You need to attack the thing, and I think you'll hit the fire. Uh, please. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, two, three, one, we found out from the traitor brother. Oh, I just missed him again. Oh, that one actually hit me. Come on, fuckers. Come on. 
Oh, please. All right, I'm just gonna get up here. I'm done. I'm done. Come on. Come on, shoot nut. Shoot nut. All right, two, three. Come on. Shoot that. Let's go. There we go. There's some Deku scrubs gone. Literal Deku scrubs. Deku, Deku. I don't know how. I don't know how most people pronounce that. Oh, did it really? Did it reset? Huh? You wait too long. It resets. I want to go get those hearts. How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. In order to administer the coup de grace to Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. Man, Deku Scrubs are all just, they don't really... They give up pretty easy. They don't really, uh... Not really a lot of loyalty there, huh? Okay. Let's do a save. I mean, it doesn't really matter if we save, I guess. I don't think we... I guess it'll save our dungeon progress in case I die. But I think if you die in the dungeon, you can just restart at the beginning of the dungeon anyway. So... I heard you guys like weird, spooky bosses. This first boss did. This first boss was kind of spooky when I was a small bab. Uh, pretty spooky. Pretty spooky. Like, look at that fucking thing. Look. Look at that fucking spooky spider. <laughs> it's a little spooky. Oh, Goma. Okay, so I think the... Oh, Link, please. No target. I think what you want to do is... I thought you wanted to shoot an eyeball. Is that not correct? Gosh, I really don't remember this part, like, at all. Oh, there it is. He's whale on her eyeball. Oh, wow. Okay. You only gotta do it once. I mean, this, is, this is tutorial dungeon, so I'm not super surprised. But man, she takes a lot less damage than I remember. It's fine. I don't think this game is actually that hard. It's just one of those things that, like, you know... It was when I played it when I was a kid, it was hard. But I don't think it's probably actually that hard. Uh, is there anything else I want to get in here before we leave? I'm still a little confused about that one wall. I guess you really have to come back here once you get the bomb bag if you want to get whatever's behind that wall. I don't know how else you would possibly get that wall open with freaking Deku nuts and a stick and a slingshot. So, I guess you gotta come back here. I really didn't even remember that thing at all, so. I don't know. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Just looking for some more slingshot ammo. There we go. Might as well max her out while we're here. Alright, so we can get out of here. We're done. Tutorial dungeon demolished. <laughs> it's not really much of an accomplishment. It's pretty fucking easy. It takes like, it was what, like 20 minutes to blow through the tutorial dungeon? Okay. Well done, Link. I feel like I should do like an old man voice for the Deku Tree, but he talks a lot. <laughs> thou hast fairly demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now, I have yet more to tell thee. Wouldst thou listen? Yeah, I guess so. We kind of don't have a choice. Fortunately, this game really doesn't beat you over the head with the story too much. It's not quite as bare as Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is like the epitome of show, don't tell. But Ocarina is still pretty good about that. The Zelda games have never been super, you know, here's 50 hours of cutscenes type deal. Uh, now listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert casts this dreadful curse upon me. I always really liked Ocarina Ganondorf. Uh, I always thought he was just the right amount of, like, cool, but also kind of spooky. So, I, this was always, I liked him a lot. Versus, like, the, you know, because Ganon in, like, NES Zelda and, like, Link to the Past, he was, like, the weird, like, pig monster. You know, I kind of liked Ganondorf. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile sorcerer's powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. 
for it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, and before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. This game's still so good. Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Feore. Ferore, the goddess of courage. strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the red earth. Nehru poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave her spirit gave the spirit of law to the world. Ferore, with her rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. Great goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens. The golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Look at that HD Triforce! Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence. Damn, that is a nice looking Triforce. And the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. It took so long we had to sit down. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Link, go now to Hyrule Castle. There, thou wilt surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with thee. The stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse on me. That's ah, a nice rock. Okay. It's really funny how similar... Like... Ocarina was almost like an, an alternate retelling of Link to the Past. You got the Kokiri's Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. The future depends on thee, Link. Thou art courageous. Shouldst thou ever lose thy way, seek a vision of the path from the Sheikah Stone that stands beside thy home. Navi the Fairy. Help Link to carry out my will. I entreat thee, Navi. Goodbye. Poor Deku Tree. Super sad. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Link. No one even sheds a tear for the Deku Tree. Goodbye, great Deku Tree. <laughs> All right. I don't know if there's anything else we can do in the forest at this exact moment. Let me do a quick look at the. We get to see Milo's dance moves one more time. Look at this fucking. Look at that. Look at that fucker tap his toes. Look at him go. Those are some sick moves. <laughs> hey, Link, what did you do? The great Deku Tree, did he die? How could you let a thing like that happen? It is kind of like Sai, isn't it? <laughs> That's pretty good. It really does, it is. It's kind of like the Gangnam Style dance. Uh, okay, so... Now that we have the... Now that we have the Slingshot, I just want to check in the Lost Woods. I don't think there's anything else we can do at the moment. What? Where are you going? To the castle. Where's the castle? 
don't think there's anything else we can do at the moment. Yes, Navi. I know. I know we have to do stuff. Just hold your horses for one second. I can't remember if there's anything else we can do here at the moment, but I just wanna I just wanna take a quick gander before we leave. Like leaving leaving Hyrule Castle was or I'm sorry, leaving for Hyrule Castle was always my favorite part when I was a kid. Alright, if I remember the gimmick here is like Okay, there's something there. But some of these will just reset you. Because it's the lost woods. It's super spooky. Um Oh, here's this dude. I think I need the ocarina first before I can do anything with that guy. And we also have... I don't even know what's down here. I don't remember this at all. Oh, I think I need... So if I shield this boy... Oh, please lock on. If I shield this guy... He's like a vendor, right? Surrender. To make your quest easier, I can enable you to pick up more Deku Sticks, but it'll cost you 40 rupees. Uh, I don't even have 40 rupees, bro. Sorry. I would like to take advantage of that, but I don't have any money at the moment. I mean, really, I don't think we need more than 10. Uh, but we'll, we'll try and come back for that later. I'll just have to remember that he's here. But it's not, like, a super huge deal. And it's like, we can't do... So, I'm pretty sure this is actually... Is this the Skull Kit? From... No, it's not quite the Skull Kit. From Majora. Or is it the Skull Kit? I really don't know. Because, I mean, obviously, it doesn't look exactly like him because he doesn't have the mask. But it looks oddly similar to the Skull Kit. See, over here, I think we might be able to do a... I don't think that one goes anywhere. What about this one? I think we can do something if we do... So we need bombs for this part. And I think that right there is a shortcut to Goron City, but we I think that also requires bomb. And this we need... Uh, we need a... higher level of dive than we have. I think we need the scale. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we definitely cannot dive down that far yet. How far? I think we need the scale from the... Yeah. We need way more dive. I think we need the scale from the Zora domain, maybe? Where the hell does this one go? This one might just be all resets. These might all be... Oh, no, not quite. Oh, this is also... Huh. I don't remember a lot of this. I would say you deck your nuts. Uh, nope. Let's see ya. Let's see. So you deck your sticks. Nope. Let's see ya. Just wanted to see if there was any... Oh, there's something here. Just wanted to see if there was anything... Whoa. Forest stage. We're waiting to see your beautiful face. Win fabulous prizes. What the fuck? This might be a... Oh, this might be a mask thing. I guess I shouldn't worry about that for the moment. Uh, so I think that's really it. Oh, uh, maybe I'm gonna do something with a slingshot back in the beginning. Uh, now I gotta remember which way I went. This place is fucked up. <laughs> uh, okay, so it was back. This way. And yeah, I think this is the shortcut to the Goron City, but I think we need bombs. We definitely can't go here right now. Yeah. Yeah. We can't do anything there without bombs. I believe you don't get bombs. Well, I guess that'll be a nice shortcut back to... Oh, I just trolled myself. <laughs> uh... I guess that's the that'll be a nice shortcut back if we want to go see what's behind that wall when we get bombs later. Pretty sure you don't get bombs until the thing. So I think the only other thing we can do here is my using my Prima strategy guide. I actually I think I had the official Nintendo Power Guide when I was a kid, so I could find all the heart pieces. Because I was a, I was a Nintendo Power subscriber for a long time when I was a bab. Nintendo Power was sick when I was a kid. And I think I need the Ocarina or something here. Oh, my analog stick is still. It's a little finicky for this kind of 
of stuff. Yeah, I think I need the ocarina. They both have flutes. I'm pretty sure that is. Those that does look like the skull kid. But so if I remember correctly, you can do a shoot up here with the thing thing bob here. There we go. I think that's it. I think that's all you have to do. Then he gives you like a bag or something. You get more nuts. Bigger nut bag for your slingshot. You scored three perfect bullseyes. I have to give a neat present to such a wonderful person. Please take it. Yeah, big nut bag. Some would even maybe call it a nut sack. A big Deku Seed bullet bag. Good deal. Okay, so I think now we're done here for the moment. So, like, my favorite part in the game is, like, coming up here in just a minute. Uh, when you first leave Kokiri Forest... It is... Oh, you know what? We should try and maybe round up enough cash real quick. I just want... I wouldn't mind getting that stick upgrade while we're here, too. I guess we could do it when we come back from Goron City, if I remember. I'm getting, like, way ahead of myself at this point already. But... Uh, how much money is there around here? But, uh... Yeah, when you first leave the forest, it's like, holy shit. It, was, it blew my mind when I was a kid. Because, like, Hyrule Field is... It's, I mean, it's not really big by today's gaming standards, but it was huge when I was a kid. It was just so... It was so cool. It was so impressive. It totally blew my mind when I was a small bab. Oh, we already talked to her. She doesn't even know what the deal is with the castle. Got this chill-looking dude here. The cookery will die if we leave the forest. You're not going to try to leave the forest, are you? Sorry, man. See ya. A little cutscene here. That's Saria. She's gonna be important later. Oh, you're leaving. I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Link. Because you are different from me and my friends. But that's okay, because we'll be friends forever, won't we? I want you to have the Sakarina. Please take good care of it. <laughs> that Link doesn't even know what the hell's going on. Look at this like wide eyed at the sparkly ass thing. Look at that face. Look at that face, man. You get to capture all the detail. Now that uh now we get to see it in beautiful high def. Uh let's see. Tap Ocarina on the lower screen to start playing it. L Y X A and R. Oh, so the Ocarina gets its own actual button, huh? When you play my Ocarina, I hope you will think of me and come back to the forest to visit. I don't think we actually get to... Do we learn any songs yet? Link, Link doesn't know how to talk to girls yet, so he just runs away. <laughs> no words, no nothing. He's just gone. Just takes takes the flute and just... See ya. Alright, so ch look at this shit. Like, I know, it, it's not impressive now. If you didn't play this when you were a kid, being exposed to it now, it doesn't have quite the same grasp as it did. But this was, this was fucking incredible when I was a kid. It's, it's huge, you know what I mean? I mean, obviously it's not huge now, but... By... By game standards at the time, Hyrule Field was amazing. This fucking owl. It appears the time has finally come for you to start your adventure. You will encounter many hardships ahead. That is your fate. Don't feel discouraged, even during the toughest times. If you go straight this way, you will see Hyrule Castle. You'll meet a princess there. If you're lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. The areas you have explored will be shown on the map. Tap bleh, on the lower screen to open the map subscreen. If you don't know where to go next, try heading to one of the locations marked for the flashing dot. Yeah, we're good. Hoo hoo. But yeah, I mean, this was so cool. Like, Hyrule Field was amazing when I was a kid. It was just so... It was huge. You know, you had this gigantic 3D Zelda world to explore. Which was something that was... It was groundbreaking at the time. It's like, if you didn't play it when you were little and you don't have any nostalgia for this... It's probably not as impressive these days, but god damn, it was so cool when I was little. You got this big fucking pinwheel dude here. Oh my god, like this is still, this is so fucking neato. Uh, Navi, I really need a lock on if I'm gonna have any chance of shooting this thing. Thank you. Yeah, like, look at this fucking, look at this dude. Look at this, so fucking ridiculous. This was so cool though when I was a kid. Damn, how many, there we go. Holy shit, that was a lot of, oh, it just drops some 
cash money, though. Uh, and then it's gonna get dark, and when it gets dark in Hyrule Field, big spooky boys spawn. So we're gonna get to see some spooky boys here in a moment. Oh, there they are. Do they have a 2DS version so you don't have to mess with the touch controls? Actually, I think Ocarina of Time 3D was new 3DS only. Well, I mean, even 2DS, it's still touch controls. It's just not 3D. But, so you couldn't play it on an old 2DS. You could probably play it on a new, that new 2DS that has the 3DS guts in it. I just want to go look. I want to check the ranch real quick. Oh, it's been so long since I was here. Uh, I mean, the touch controls really are pretty unintrusive for the most part. Uh, especially if I was playing this on a real DS versus on an emulator, because then the, the touch items for the buttons wouldn't be kind of as annoying. Uh, but, I mean, really, the control scheme is fine. Otherwise, it's not really bad at all. Uh, in terms of, like, it's like... You still get two items on face buttons, so you just basically have to put the shitty stuff you're not worried about on your on your clicks. But it's not too too bad. All right, so I'm gonna hit up the ranch really fast, and then we'll go to the castle. I'm not sure if there's anything I can even do up here just yet. Them horses, HD, HD horses. This game does look great though. The the 3DS remake. So normally I'm kind of iffy on like remakes and remasters. But they really ca it, it still has the exact same look and feel and charm of the N64 one. It just looks it just looks it doesn't have those shitty blocky N64 models and stuff. Like it, it looks fantastic still. But it didn't really they didn't really sacrifice anything when they made the remake. You know, they didn't lose any of the charm or anything. So I by remake standards I would say this is pretty good. Because, you know, remasters are always kind of sketchy sometimes. Sometimes they, you know, like that freaking Chrono Trigger re-release for Steam that makes it look like absolute garbage. Like, ugh. Pretty disgusting. Oh, I think we can get a bottle here. Some stupid game we have to play with the, with the bird boys. Uh, you know what, though? I don't even think he's here yet. I remember there's supposed to be a dude chilling in here. God, it's been so long. Oh, we got some nice... Wow, were these drawings on the wall here in the original? It might have just been... Everything must have been so low res you couldn't even tell. Look at those sweet... Those beautiful drawings there. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I could do anything here just yet. I may be kind of jumping the gun. It's in that pot. It's just, you know... I think it's like a serial pot destroyer. Oh, they, someone drew something on the wall behind the pots. Uh, you know, Lake just breaks into people's homes and just breaks all their shit and then runs away. Yeah, I don't see the guy here who would let me do the bird boy game, so I guess we're... I don't know, let's see. Take a quick peek at the horsies. Ah, oh, this fucking guy. I can't remember this dude's name. He's a dick, though. What are you doing hanging around here, you little weirdo? I'm Ingo, and I mind the ranch. I've been working at this ranch for a long time for that lazy bum, Talon. Today, for example, he's gone somewhere for a delivery and hasn't come back yet. So I'm doing all the work around here. Oh well, it's tough to be a working man. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything here yet. Uh, I don't think we can do anything here just yet. What's that horse you doing? Just running laps all by yourself, huh? Good job. Please, please no run me over. Uh, yeah, I think we're... Man, this really does though. This looks great for what used to be an N64 game. You know, I think there's a Skulltulla here, but I I think I need... I don't think I can do that yet. It's funny... Ah, uh, there was one here. <laughs> there's so goddamn many of these, though. I, I could never... I, I had to use a guide for a lot of them when I was a kid. I'm just wondering how many I can remember the location of. Right now. I knew there was one hiding there. I, I had a... Oh my god, I could be really cheesy. I could call it my, my spidey sense. <laughs> my golden spidey sense. But I think really most of Hyrule Field is going to be closed off to us for the moment. So we're, we're just going to go to the castle. I'm going to quit dicking around. We'll have plenty of time to explore later. 
So there's no point in me in me trying to go out of my way right now. We have, look at that, there's Death Mountain up there. Oh my god, this fucking game. So neat. It really is, it's like I'm a little kid on Christmas again. That's, I, I think that's why all the all the Kid Link stuff is still so, it's like burned into my brain is because I probably played as Kid Link the most. Like, I would play this game, and I'd, I finished it at least once, I think. But I, a lot of times what I would do is I would basically just restart the game, and I would play Small Link until I got the Master Sword. And then play as Big Link for a little bit, and then start over again. So a lot of the Small Link stuff is pretty pretty burned into my brain. It's it's when, when we get to be grown up that I don't remember as much. Welcome to Hyrule Castle Town. It's a peaceful, prosperous town. Oh, this is, I think this is Pot City in here. Oh yeah, look at this shit. Oh my god, look at all these fucking pots we can break. Yeah, Link has a, Link has a problem. He just busts into people's, people's house and just steals all the shit. Breaks all their pots, takes their money. Of course, it makes you wonder why these guys are hiding their money in pots. I guess that was like the Hyrule equivalent of hiding cash in your mattress. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a skull tunnel in here. I did not remember that. Uh, I did not remember that. Is that the only one in here? Probably. He's gonna be tough on his noodle. Uh, I think we're gonna want to come back here and get a little more cash. Because if I'm not mistaken, we can buy we can buy a certain shield here. I think it's like right here. Oh, treasure chest shop. That's not what I'm looking for. Where's the item shop? Uh, it's so cool to see this like this. So wait, is this the is this the regular shop? I'm looking for there's a oh yeah, look at that large lad right there. He's a big boy. So unfortunately, we can't buy bombs because we don't have a bag. Oh, the shield seems a lot cheaper than it used to be. I'm pretty sure the Hillian shield... Wow, that model looks fantastic, actually. Look at how fucking nice that looks. Um, what else do you have? Just sticks and... Okay. I'm pretty sure the... Uh, I'm pretty sure the Hillian shield costs, like, all your money originally. I remember... I remember just running back and forth from the... Look at how good the Hillian shield looks. Just wait for it to scroll back around. Ah, that's fucking... That's nice. They did a really good job with this. They did a really nice job. Um, so this shield... It's so big that Link... Small Link can't really hold it. He is a fucking unit, isn't he? he is, look at this fucking guy. <laughs> He's not fuck around. But yeah, the shield is so big that Link actually can't hold it. Because it's as big as him. So when you defend with the Hillian shield... Uh, Link just crouches. <laughs> he just crouches. He just hides underneath it like a turtle. I heard a rumor that there's a monster that eats Hillian shields somewhere out in the world. Have you ever seen it? I am familiar with that monster. I believe it's called a Like Like. Uh, that guy's beard. Looks hipster AF. This beard, <laughs> this beard is my pride and joy. Doesn't it look luxuriant, kid? Yeah, sure, buddy. Oh. You are more beautiful than Princess Zelda. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So we got... What is this? The mask shop? See, I think once we get a mask, I think we can go back. I think we can do something down in... The mask guy's not here. And I'd open for business. I read the sign there, but it still seems weird. I think once we get the mask, we'll have the ability to... We'll have the ability to check out, um... There, there's a whole bunch of side quests with the Mask Shop that I can't remember offhand. You know, I'm trying to even think back now. I think Hyrule... F oh, that there's, uh, the chick from... I think it's Malin from the ranch. Yeah. Hey, you're close. They're different. You're not from around here, are you? Oh, you're a fairy boy from the forest. My name is Malin. My dad owns Lon Lon Ranch. That's where we just were. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk, and he hasn't come back yet. I'm trying to even think now. Thinking back, I think, uh, I think, like, the Hyrule... I think a lot of the background stuff in Hyrule City was actually, like, pre-rendered. But see, I think now it's actually all 3D models. Uh, I really can't remember now. 
don't even know what's going on over here. These guys are going crazy. Can't you make it any cheaper? I don't know what the fuck they want to buy. Temple of Time. Let's just say that the Temple of Time is the entrance to the Sacred Realm. Did you know that? Uh, what is even in there? I don't remember what a lot of the stuff is in here. Oh, Bomb Shoot Bowling Alley. I don't think we can do this without... Oh, I'm sorry. We're not open for business yet. Yeah, I think I'm getting way ahead of myself. I think we just need to go to the castle. I kind of... I just... I don't know. I'm already so sucked into exploring. I just want to keep looking around. Please sell me the contents of a bottle. We don't have any bottles yet. I'd like to get a bottle pretty soon here, though, if we can. I think once we're... Uh, I think once we're... Hey, what? What's wrong with loitering around all day? Huh, kid? I think once we finish the castle section, I think we can go to the ranch and get our first bottle. Seems strange the packs of dogs roam our streets at night. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Pupper's just looking for a home. Alright, so, yeah, let's go to the castle. Uh, right after I check these doors. Uh, of course, we have to break the crate. Take their money. Anything else in here? Nope, they got a fancy house, though. This place is very, very luxurious. Alright. I think one more door we gotta take a look at. Now this door doesn't open either. What's up with you, old man? <laughs> hey, Sonny. Shiny, I'll tell you something helpful. I heard there's a mysterious fountain somewhere near the castle. Yeah, I think we need bombs for that, though. I'm pretty sure we need bombs. Let's head to the castle. Damn, Hyrule Castle looking pretty nice these days. Looking awful spiffy. In HD. This is our owl buddy. Damn, how does he do with his head? The princess is inside the castle just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. Hoo hoo hoo. Hoot. On this ground, time flows normally. Time stands still while you were at Lon Lon Ranch or in a town. If you want time to pass normally, you'll need to leave town. Well, well. Which way are you going to go now? Hoo hoo. Hoot. And see, this guy would always troll me because they, they leave the cursor on yes by default when he asks you if you want to listen again. So when I was a kid, I would just mash the buttons and I ended up having to listen to this dude like three times in a row. You're a smart kid. Good luck then. Hoo hoo. See ya. I say there might be a Skultala in this tree? Possibly? Ah, oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah there was. I can't believe I still remember this much. So, obviously the guard is not going to let us through the gate. We're some weird little kid with a shield on our back like a turtle. And we're in all green. Most kids are not wearing all green, so we gotta, we gotta make our moves here. If we go this way, guards are going to get us. I think we can actually just jump versus going down the ladder. Right. Yeah, it's a, that's a, it's a pro speedrun tactic right there. In case anybody was curious. Yeah, we need bombs to get in here, which we don't have yet. But there is a fairy fountain there. I think the key is you need to kind of do a little maneuver in here. A little, little sneaky boy maneuver. A little something like that. Give him the old razzle-dazzle. These guards are not very good at their jobs. Uh, they're, they're pretty shitty. I guess we do, we are wearing all green. We kind of have like some nice camo. So maybe maybe that's working in our favor. <laughs> but I don't know. All right, so we gotta climb up here, sneak past all these freaking extremely garbage guards. And then I think we need to actually swim in the, whoops. I was gonna stop and try and change my camera angle. Yeah, I think we actually need to want to, I think we want to go in the canal? Or the moat? Oh yeah, and I think if you go down the middle, there's some cash money in here. And I think we can go... Oh, I think this is the right way. I think. Ah, I was hoping for another one. Yeah, there is... There's, uh... There's Talon from the ranch, this lazy fucker. Mumble, mumble. <laughs> Welcome. Our ranch is so fun. Come on and look around. 
So I think what we want to do here, we need to move, we need to move box. So we can actually get, oh, I guess we don't even actually have to move the box, we can just get in there. And I think we can just bust right in the back entrance, correct? Maybe. What am I doing here? Maybe not. What do I have to do? Does it need to be daytime? It might need to be daytime. And then, like, the bird wakes him up or something. God, I really don't even remember. Well, it's not like time takes very long to pass here, so let's wait a second. Because I can't... This door does not... This door does not open. Man, look, they even went through the... the they even went through the detail of actually putting a... a keyhole on the door handle. Alright, old man, come on. I don't got all day here. Oh, yeah, okay. It looks like the sun is already rising. Man, the day-night cycle, I wonder if they even made it faster than I remember. I mean, I definitely remember it didn't take that long. But, man, it really... Are you gonna wake up or what, man? Do I have to use the... Do I have to toot on my flute? Whoops. Wrong button. Uh... I guess not. How the hell do I wake this guy up? Like, I really, truly do not remember how to wake this guy up. Because I think what you actually want to do is I think you need to push... You need to push the milk delivery into... Down to here? Like, I think you push the milk box here and that lets you jump into there. No goddamn idea how to wake this guy up. So yeah, we need to get this dude out of here. Maybe we should go back and talk to Malin again. If we get caught by the guards, they'll send us out of here. Let's just go up and let's just chat with the guards. What's up, dudes? There we go. Uh, let's go talk to Malin again and see... Let's see what the deal is here. Tell her Pops is sleeping on the job. Oh, there we go. Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen some asleep somewhere around the castle. Oh yeah, if you look for him, I'll give this to you. I'm incubating this egg very carefully. You got a weird egg. Uh, okay. You got a weird egg. So we need to set that to... Okay. Weird egg acquired. Maybe like the egg... The egg might turn into a chicken, then you have to use the chicken to wake him up. Something like that. So I think right now if I just use egg... Yeah, nothing happens. But I think like one or two day and night cycles, I think egg turns into bird. And then you can use the bird. Been, it's been quite a long time, so I'm definitely not, definitely not quite as sharp. Like, how do these guards not notice me running past them? Just bonk all the trees. Oh, there was a heart. Oh, it's some nut. Uh, how do these guys not notice me? Definitely the worst guards I think I've ever seen. Not very stellar at their jobs. So we're already getting into nighttime. I think I think that's what yet. I think the the egg. This guy, these things were always so weird when I was a kid. Uh, it's trying to tell us something. I think there's a fairy hiding inside it too. Maybe you can lure it out somehow. Uh, I think I think the egg turns into a cuckoo, and then you use that to wake the dude up. If I'm not mistaken. It's been it's been quite a while. I gotta refresh my memory here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Get all this free money while we're here, I guess. Might as well. All right, so yeah, I think we're just gonna chill here for a minute until morning. And I want to see if I get bird. 
Or maybe I can just, I forgot that, maybe we can just talk to him. How do we talk to Malin? Nope. Still the same deal. So let's, let's hold on. Let's wait out the egg. Of course, there's nothing really exciting I can do while we wait out the egg. I can just basically just roll around here like an idiot. Bonk my head a lot. I feel like that would be rough on the poor little dude's head, huh? I still can't get over how great this looks compared to the N64 game. I think I've already said that like five times today, but they really did a fantastic job with the 3DS remake. It makes you really want to play Majora now as well. Alright, Egg, please. Egg, please. Become, become Bird. I, I'm really sure, like, not really sure, but I'm like 85% sure. It looks incredible, right? It, I mean, it doesn't... I'm running this. It's... Oh, there we go. There it is. That's the bird. Okay. Uh, I mean, I am running this at four times native res. But it looks it looks fantastic. And it still... It keeps all the charm of the N64. You know? They didn't make it look shitty when they made the, the newer models and textures and stuff. It still looks... It looks great. It just looks sharp. What? In tarnation? <laughs> Can't a person get a little shut-eye around here? All right, dude. Peace out of here. I got stuff to do. Who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest, and I guess I fell asleep. <laughs> what? Malin was looking for me? I'm going to catch it from her now. I messed up bad, leaving Malin behind to wait for me. She's really going to let me have it. Look at that running animation. Look <laughs> at that running animation. Dude has some lanky-ass arms, by the way. Okay, so we're going to take box... I think we need to stack the boxes, and then once we stack the boxes, that should get me, I can crawl through the little, uh, river thing there. The moat. The moat supply. And then we can hop into there, we crawl through, and then we get to do a little mini game. Yeah, I think we need both, both boxes. If I'm not mistaken. That's a big, that's a big box to push for a small bab link though. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of box to haul around. He's just a little guy. That box is like five times as big as him. He can just freaking, just like no big deal. Okay, I think it's all the pushing we need to do. Oh, yep, there's, there's the noise. That's how you know you did good. Okay, so let's let's see how how good or bad I am at the guard sneaking game at this point. I always like the music in here. Uh, I always really like the music in here. Save real quick. Uh, let's see. It gets a little more complicated, but basically, so these guys move on a set path, and you need to. He doesn't skip leg day. So you just gotta sneak sneak past the world's worst prison guards or palace guards ever. To our leisurely stroll here. I think this one has two. Yeah, this one has two. I think in this one normally you'd want to actually just walk across the top, but if you're feeling feisty, you can pick up like ten rupees. I'm not sure how feisty I'm feeling. Oh, that seems like a bad idea. I'll go for it. Let's try and get some root. Like, look at how look at this guard. This guy's not very good at his job. I'm not gonna get all the rupees. This guy moves so slow. I don't think it's worth it for 10 rupees. Uh, this guy. Let's see here. I think we just have to kind of follow behind him. I don't know why I remember this being really hard when I was a kid. Maybe I was just retarded. Which is entirely possible. Unless this gets really hard on the next section, but this seems to be really easy. This seems to be extremely easy. I'm not sure how I, how I could have possibly fucked this up when I was a kid. Cards. There we go. Thank you. I'll be seeing you guys a little later. So, one, one small bab. Just made it past all the castle security. <laughs> In the matter of minutes. Oh, look at how good this looks. I just want to, sorry, I want to, I want to just pop into first person and just pan around. Like, look at this. This looks fantastic. Uh, it's really nice to play Ocarina and have it, like, 
N64 graphics were amazing when I was a kid, but N64 graphics did not age well. Like, N64 looks like... it looks pretty bad these days. So here she is, Miss Zeld. Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Uh, your guards are... your guards are pretty dumb. <laughs> They're not very good at their jobs. Oh, what's that? Is that... a fairy? Then are you... are you from the forest? Then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Do you have it? And my upscaling resolution, yeah, I'm running it at four times native. Uh, it's like a, it's like a little higher than 720p. Because 3DS has a weird native res. It's like, you know, like four or something by three something. So it ends up being like 1400 by 900 or something like that, I think, at 4x. Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I knew this was a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. That's pretty crazy to think about, too. Just from like a technical standpoint, so N64 emulation is pretty good these days. But N64 emulation still kind of blows. And like the 3DS is a console that's still, I mean not a console, but a handheld. The 3DS is still out, like it's still supported currently at the moment. Like Nintendo is still putting out games on the 3DS and there's an emulator that exists that can not only run the games well, it can run the games at higher than native resolution, no problem. Wow, was, like N64 emulation is still pretty crappy. Uh, it's pretty, pretty impressive from a technical standpoint. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I'm Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. Yeah, N64 emulation is not good. Uh, it's still pretty crummy, all things considered. What is your name? Link. Strange. It sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. Yeah, N64 emulation has, leaves a lot to be desired. And as far as I know, I mean, it's been a while since I really looked at N64 stuff, but I'm not sure if they have any kind of, like, texture scaling or upscaling, like, you know, higher rendering resolution, that kind of stuff. Uh, so it kind of blows still. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been foretold. So the ancient sage has built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. Ah, Triforce looks so good. Yeah, I mean, you know, I have nostalgia for the N64 version for sure. It's just the 3DS one looks and runs so much nicer. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the Sacred Realm. Sacred Realm. <laughs> I said Sacred Realm from our world, but the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time, and in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. Another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend, the Ocarina of Time. Nice name drop. <sighs> Did you understand well the story I just told you? That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream the dark clouds. I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? There he is. I was Ganondorf looks so cool though. That's like my favorite form of Ganon for sure. Cause he is he's kind of spooky. He's definitely he's, he's totally evil, but he looks he looks pretty cool too. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudo. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. Spooky boy. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But 
I can sense that man's evil intentions. Zelda's accidentally racist. <laughs> yes, something like that. <laughs> What's up, man? What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Because he had dark skin in Zelda. Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. If only we had some sweet, uh, you know, early... Early, uh, 2000s, late 90s voice acting like Castlevania had. <laughs> Link can cast his dark metamorphosis. I'm afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. <laughs> you received Zelda's letter. Wow! This letter has Princess Zelda's autograph. Oh, wow. On the item subscreen, you can set it... Okay, I'm not going to read that part. <laughs> I'm not going to read that part. So, there is my main gal, Impa. I really like playing as Impa in Hyrule Warriors. I can't remember shit. I... God, what the hell is her weapon? I can't remember what it was, but it was, it was pretty fucking neato. I'm Impa of the Sheikah. I'm responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You're heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? King of Hyrule is all like, forgive my daughter, she's scared of people not like her. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, she's just a kid, she doesn't know any better. Ganondorf is kind of spooky. If, like, you know... How old do you think Lincoln's out are at this point? Like, eight? Nine? If nine-year-old me met a dude that looked like Ganondorf in real life, I'd probably be pretty spooked myself. Uh, my role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Say why? Okay. All right, Link. Let's show him what we got. Oh yeah. First ocarina song. Get. And I think we're going to. I think we're heading to Death Mountain, which I love. Death Mountain in Ocarina. It is pretty fucking neat. If nine-year-old me was a mutant who murdered hundreds of native animals in the country, we'd have all kinds of problems. You know, that's what I was talking about. It's like, think about how fucked up it must be. So, like, you're that guard. You know the room when you first go into the Hyrule Castle City and there's all the money in there? So you're sitting there guarding over the, this, these pots full of money. Which, first of all, why, why do the pots have money in them? But then, so a little kid rolls in there, all in green, huge shield on his back with a fairy following him. He beats the shit out of all the pots, takes all the money, and then runs away. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? Super weird. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. Thanks, Impa. So, I want to head... I want to go back to the ranch real quick. Because I'm pretty sure we can get our first bottle at the ranch. So, I'm going to do that first. I'm going to get a little money before we go, because I think we might need money to get the bottle. You brave lad. We must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village. I see, I'm never sure if it's Kakariko or Kakariko. I think it's Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. Princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. All right, we're counting on you. So, <laughs> smoke bomb. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a little bit more cash from the the pot room real quick. 
Then we're gonna head to the ranch. I want to see if I can get my hands on a bottle. I'm pretty sure we can. So we're gonna do that real fast, and then we're gonna head for Kakariko, do some of Death Mountain, maybe get the dungeon unlocked. Uh, we'll see how things go here. Can't remember. I, I think we need money though. So I think it's like you can buy milk, and if you buy milk, you get the bottle, but then you can refill the bottle for cheap. <laughs> Man, I'm so bored. Things sure would be more interesting if there were more troubles in the world. Hey, that's just between you and me, okay? Anyway, maybe we can... Wow, okay, I'm pretty sure they changed this guy's dialogue. I'm pretty sure I don't remember this guy saying this in the N64 version. Uh, anyway, maybe we can let off some steam by breaking some jars. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that dude did not say that in Ocarina. Like, N64 Ocarina. They must have changed that dude's dialogue up. That does not ring a bell for me at all. But anyway, alright, so let's go round up some milk. So we can make Link grow big and strong. And then we're gonna head for Kakariko. I don't know if we have enough Skulltalas yet to get the... I don't even look at my things. We have six. Uh... I think it might be 10 for the first item from the Skulltalas. If I'm not mistaken. So we, we can't do that just yet. At least I don't think so, but we'll see. I think there's at least one or two in Kakariko we can kill. Uh, there's some other stuff we can do in Kakariko as well that I can't remember offhand. So, I don't know, we'll see here. I, I want to I wanna check out the ranch first, though. I want to make it in there before it gets dark, because I think everything changes in here at nighttime. I think we made it in here early enough. I always really like the soundtrack in La La Ranch. It's pretty chill. Yeah, there's this lazy fucker. So... <laughs> huh? I'm awake already. What? Well, I'll be, if it ain't the forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. It took some doing, but I finally got Malin back in a good mood. So what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? These three cuckoos I have in here are, super, are special super cuckoos. I'm going to throw these cuckoos into that their gaggle of normal cuckoos. If you can pick out these three special birds from among the normal cuckoos within the time limit, I'll give you something good. I think that's the bottle. If you can't find them, I win. Yeah, so we're going to need a couple attempts here, potentially. Start looking. Alright, so there's one right here. Wait, please. Grab bird. Please grab bird. Please stop rolling and grab bird. There's two. Shit, I gotta find the last one. Uh, birds. Where the hell is the bird? There we go. Okay. Kaka. Huh. Really? Kaka Rico. That might be it too. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm never sure. And the problem is the Zelda games never really have voice acting. So, uh, I'm, I'm never really sure, you know what I mean? There's never like an official, there's never like an official way to figure it out, I guess. I'm never sure if anyone's actually come to consensus on that. So you think Kakariko. Hey you, you've got the talent to be one of the world's best cowboys. How'd you like to marry Malin? Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> I was just kidding. I think you're a little young for that, aren't ya? Ma he always sounds like town sounds like he should be a huge hick. Proud to represent you, sample of our very own lawn lawn milk. You'll be energized the moment you drink it, boy. <laughs> After you drink it, you can bring back the bottle and buy a refill anytime you want. There we go. So first bottle got. So that's nice. Um, five hearts per drink, two drinks per bottle. So that's pretty sick. We got ourselves a little potion action. Uh, now that Mountain's here. Can we do anything with the horse yet? I think we might be able to learn the song. Let me just let me just check this out really quick. And then we're gonna probably head over. Actually, I want to check that building back there too. I think there might be a heart piece in there. I support country mile and talent. I can get I can get a little country. Oh, it's the fair boy again. <laughs> I can do I can do a better hick dude voice than I can a hick woman voice. But I can do a pretty good dude hick voice. 
for old Talon. I heard you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? Dad came home in a hurry after you found him. Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? Come here, horse. See, I don't know if I can learn the song yet or not. Maybe if I pull out the... if I pull out my... my toot? Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything here just yet. Seems like Epona is afraid of you, fairy boy. Come here, horsey. Let me see ya. I don't remember what I have to do here. I don't know if I can do anything here just yet. My mother- oh wait, is this the song? Let's sing together. There we go. Are you going to play the song with that ocarina? Okay, let's let's learn the song. A X Y. Okay. So I thought. I thought I was already playing it. So we can't really do anything with the Pound of Song just yet, but it's going to be the ticket to something pretty important a little bit later. Uh, oh, there's our there's our owl buddy spying on us up there, he's swooping around. Oh, see, Horsey loves us now. She's, she's actually kind of shoving me. Come on, Horse. Like, like, poor Link just getting, yep, just nuzzling me. Alright, so... I think that's everything we can do at Lon Lon Ranch for the moment. I just want to check that back building, like that tower type deal. Can't remember if there is a heart piece or something in there, or maybe even a Skulltala. Uh, can't remember. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check real quick. We already got the one in the tree, but I think there might be one more here. I know later on there's another one at night, but you I don't think you can get that one until you get the hook shot. Shows his love by shoving you off the property. Yeah. Well, I mean, Link's a little guy, you know? He gets pushed around easy. Is there a... Oh, there's a puzzle in here with the boxes. I think that's what we want to do. I think I want to push... Oops. No, I want you to push. Link, please. Please go and hold. And we want to push this one and then I think pull this one back. I think there's a heart piece in here, if I'm not mistaken. It's really fucked up how the brain works. Like, you know, there's tons of things that I, I forget. Where, uh, where is the thing at? Uh, there's tons of things I forget on a day-to-day -day basis, but I can remember things from a video game that I played 20 freaking years ago. Uh, where the hell is the hole at? There's a hole in here somewhere. I just need to get the... I don't remember where the hell it is first. I think it might be behind this box back here. I think it is. Like, please, go down. I can give you like a little bit of that. And then is that enough to squeeze? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, like, yep, there's the heart piece. That's what I was looking for. Let's see if we can round up a couple more of those. Let me do a save here. Okay, so now I think we are totally done with, uh, I think we're totally done with Lon Lon Ranch for the immediate moment. I'm pretty sure we've exhausted what we can do here as Bablink with the current stuff that we have, so. Let's head to Kakariko, Kakariko, I'm just gonna, I don't know, we'll just roll with it. And there's, I know there's a couple things we can do there before we head up Death Mountain. Uh, so we'll do that. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we'll actually get into the Goron dungeon. I remember none of this could call in the heart piece. It's amazing, dude. Like, I seriously... I mean, I'm not going to remember all of it. Not even close. But there are so many things. Like, it's like, I remembered if you bonked that tree. Or maybe it was the box. But I already got it already. But there was a gold Skulltella hidden in one of these. It's amazing the shit that sticks in your mind from a million years ago. Like, I don't know how I remember that shit. It shouldn't even it shouldn't even be there 20 years later, but somehow it still is. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's just I don't know. It's weird how the it's weird how the brain works, I guess. The, the, the strange the 
the strange things that get committed to memory that just don't... that should be totally insignificant. And yet, there they are. Think of all the useful things I could store in my brain instead of that. But instead I remember where a golden spider is in Zelda. Alright, so let's get up to... yeah, let's get up the... let's get up to the village. I love that view of Death Mountain from here. That looks incredible. Especially with like the... with the... the high res and everything. That looks awesome. It looks so good. That was always one of my favorite views of Death Mountain. Uh... Oh, getting spooky. It's nighttime. Yeah, it looks so nice. And then once we get bombs, that's going to open up a whole bunch of stuff. I can't remember all of it offhand, but there's a bunch of crap we can do once we get our hands on some exploding boys. So we'll definitely do that. I think there might be a Skulltull in one of these as well. God, there, the thing is, there were so many. I could never get all the Skulltullas. I had to use a guide to get a lot of them when I was a kid. I had the Nintendo Power Guide. I could not remember where a ton of these guys were. No, it's just money. Okay, let's head up. Just the skeletons. There might even be one around here somewhere. I, th I know there's a couple in the village. I don't know how many we can get. Uh, right... Oh, there's one right there. Like, literally right in front of us that you can't miss. What's up with you? Hey, son, what are you doing wandering around this late at night? Oh, I get it. You're testing your courage, aren't you? You must want to go to a graveyard. <laughs> Wait a minute, what am I doing talking to a kid? I've got work to do. Ding dong, ding dong. The current time is 107. Weird. Oh, you can calm the dead with a... This map feels so huge. Yeah, I mean, it's funny, like... Because by all standards now, this, this game is so tiny. But, like, when I was a kid... This game was gigantic. People are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting too. Uh, you know, by all modern standards, this game is very tiny. But... Ah, there's one. Uh, but you know, when I was a kid, this game seemed uh, huge. Like, I couldn't even grasp... Like, when I first got to Hyrule Field, when you leave Kokiri Woods, I'm like, holy shit, like, this is incredible. It's, it's so big. You know, I just couldn't even handle how amazing it was. Alright, so we're going to get that one here. We can do the the game with the chickens, too. You got to return all the birds. I think you can only do that during the daytime. Uh, I think we're going to I think we're gonna have to shoot first. Link, please go down. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I mean... This game was gigantic at the time, you know? It was just... it was massive. But, you know, these days, definitely not quite as big as it, as it, as it felt then. Is there anything... is there a reason I want to be up here? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure the Skulltulla house is down... right down here. I want to see if I'm missing... oh, there's one right here. I think we're going to be really close to getting the bigger wallet already. I think the bigger wallet is like 10 tokens. We already have, what, nine? Nine. If I get my hands on one more, we can carry more money. Just gonna be a matter of finding one. And, but I mean, from a collectible standpoint, I don't think this one was as bad as like, like when I think of a shitload of collectibles from my childhood, I think of like Donkey Kong 64, I think of Jet Force Gemini, and the, like, the little tribals and shit. Like, rare games in the 90s were absurd. Like, Donkey Kong Country. Like, when I think of collectibles, I think of rare stuff. Uh, damn, that guy looks even spookier in high def. He is fucking horrifying in high definition. Oh my goodness. Look at his face. Are there any in the graveyard? There, there very well might be. I'm gonna go check there in just a minute. I know there's at least one or two more I can get around here. We all look like this because of the spider's curse. If every spider of the curse in the entire world were destroyed, the curse would be broken. When you destroy a spider of the curse, a token will appear. Collect it as proof of your achievement. Yeah, I think I need... Oh, it actually gives you a little a little finder. That's nice. When this icon is displayed next to the name of the area on the map subscreen, there are no more spiders in that area. Interesting. 
So, yeah, there's... I can't get anything here yet. These guys are all still super, super cursed. But I think if I can get my hands on... There's definitely one more we can find around here. So, I'll poke around. We'll find one, and then I want to get the bigger wallet. I think there's even, like, a hole or something we can fall down somewhere. But I'm... Oh, maybe up here behind the windmill? God, there's so much in this game. I really can't remember everything. Maybe in the box? But I want to try it behind the windmill. I think there might be one back there behind the windmill as well. I always really like this sound. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> Go around. Go around and around and around. What fun. I'm so happy. I'm a music man who loves to go around and around. Go around and around. I'm trying to come up with a musical theme inspired by this windmill. Going around and around and around. Can I learn the song from this guy yet? Uh, I don't think so. So what would the song be? It seems like it would be like... Wait. Yeah, see, I can do it here, but I don't have the song yet. Like, when you when you pull the ocarina out and you get, like, the little doo-doo-doo, that means there's something you can do. But I don't think I can do anything here just yet. I want to get behind... I want to get behind there. Because I think there is... Can I go down the well yet? No, I can't go down the well. Uh, I know there's got to be more Skulltalas around here. Let's go check the graveyard real quick. I just want to find one more so I can get the wallet. The big boy wallet. Yeah, because we can only carry 99 rupees. I think the big boy wallet lets us carry 200. So I'd really like to get that if we could. Normally the graveyard was like the digging game. I don't know if you can do the... Oh, there's one there, but he's going to be too high for us to get without the hook shot. Uh, I think. I don't think we can do that. Yeah, I don't think we can do that one without the hook shot. Here lie the souls of those who swore fealty to the royal family of Hyrule. The Sheikah, guardians of the royal family and founders of Kakariko. Watch over these spirits in their eternal slumber. Can I do Ocarina here? They said something about the song. No, not here. Because the guy did say you could do something with the Ocarina here. I think some of these are movable. And there's actually a hole in one of these, if I'm not mistaken. God knows, I can't remember which one. Pose are really annoying. I remember there used to be like a thing, you could hunt pose for some reason. I don't remember what I, I would hunt pose for. Oh, that's the hole. I think there might be more than one hole in here, though. What do we got in here? Oh, I need a bomb for this part. Man, I can't even do anything with that rupee because I'm, I'm, <laughs> I can't carry anymore. I think there's more than one of these that actually leads down somewhere secret, though. Let me just take a quick peek here. Check all this out. That's spooky ghost boy. Oh, please. Oh, more pose. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be stocked up with pose here. Mute child to face a cemetery. Murder spirit of revered royal guard. <laughs> It's okay, Zelda told us to. We're just doing what we were supposed to do. Uh, I'm gonna get killed by Pose here. I, I know there's more than one of these that has a... That has a hole. Yeah, that other Skulltala, I'm not gonna be able to get him without... Without the hook shot. He's too, he's too high up. I don't think there's any other way to get up there far as I know. So we're gonna have to... Could have sworn... Oh, there's another hole. Let's check down here. I, I know there's more Skeletalas that we can get. All we need is one. Whoa. Oh, these are the Redeads. Oh, these guys were so scary when I was a kid. They scared the shit out of me. They even scared the dog. Because now she's barking. Hey, Sydney. Relax, pupper. Whoops. Not. I said, hey, Sydney, and I, I got Siri. Uh, yeah, these guys were... These guys scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. 
They were super spooky. They like jump on your face and like they, oh my god, they were so scary when I was a kid. I don't even know if I can kill this guy at this point. Please don't eat my face. Oh, there we go, he's eating my face. Oh, I might actually die. Yep, dead. <laughs> I don't know if I can kill the re-dead this early on with the shitty sword and stuff. Uh, I don't know if I can kill a re-dead this early. Where's that going to start me? Oh, okay, right here. Uh, might as well try again. we got nothing to lose, really. But yeah, I don't know if I can do this with, with what I'm working with at the moment. Because I want to get my freaking face eaten. I don't think the... Does the slingshot work? I don't think slingshot works. Oh, there we go. We got him. Okay. Do you drop something? Maybe this is where I have to play the ocarina. No. I'm not really sure why I came down here and killed this guy. I guess just because I'm, I'm an asshole. Because there doesn't appear to be anything else I can do here. Yeah. So yeah, we just killed this guy for nothing. We are bad. We are bad people. Bad people. Ah, it's another Po. God damn it. I just want to find one. I just want to find one Skulltella. <laughs> Weird, I went into a grave and only found a dead guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Poe's, please. More holes, huh? I'm still holding out hope we can pick up one more in the... in Kakariko somewhere. I think there's at least one more. Maybe we can get our hands on. What are you doing out there, pupper? You're getting super rowdy, huh? Oh, I already pulled these ones. What about the... Oh, wait. I can play the ocarina here, I think. If I played Zelda song. Uh, what song? What Zelda song? X-A-Y. Whoops. Let me see what this does. Oh, it did something. Still not quite sure what yet, but let's see. I don't remember that at all. I think there might be a heart piece down there. What you doing there, pupper? What were you getting all worked up for? Huh? What y'all rowdy about? Yeah, I don't remember that at all. Oh, and I can't pull these ones. Okay, well, let's see what's in the spooky lightning hole. Oh, God, I think this is a fuckload of redeads, isn't it? I think there's a ton of redeads in here. Or something. Some kind of hot garbage. Oh, bats. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I don't think... Oh, I need that heart. Because I'm thinking about this... I'm pretty sure I need fire in some form... ...to do this. Right? No? Okay, I really thought I needed fire to light those torches, but I guess not. Navi's super into these skeletons, for whatever reason. So let's see what's in here. I'm thinking heart piece. Oh, fucking re-deads. Re-deads. Please. Re-deads. Please don't eat my face. Please don't eat my face. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave you guys be. It's kind of hard to deal with those guys as small Link. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let them chill. And I'm gonna do the toot. Again? What was it? X A Y? Or no, that's not right. There's something else written on there. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. There's a new song. I can see it written on there. 
The rising sun will eventually set, a newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something else is inscribed on the tombstones. I think this might be the Sun Song? The secret melody of the Composer Brothers. Yeah, Sun Song. Oh, and I think I can play this one... I might be able to play this one to the guy in the... Oh, no, that's not it. That's not the one I was thinking of. I was gonna say that might be the one you play to the guy in the windmill, but that's that's not it. But the sun song does change night to day. If I'm not mistaken. Do I get anything for doing this down here, or do I just get the song? Restless souls wander where they don't belong. Bring them calm with the sun song. Okay. I guess that's it for down here. I really thought there was something else here. Fair enough. Uh, now we gotta run past the redead skin and not get our faces eaten. Redead, please. Oh god, these things really did. They scared the shit out of me when I was little. Redead, please. <laughs> uh, they were super spooky, man. I didn't like those guys very much. Those who break into the royal tomb will be obstructed by the lurkers in the dark. All right. Yeah, so we broke into a cemetery. We opened up all the graves. We broke into the royal family's tomb. All in all, it's been a productive first day for Link on the job here. Uh, I think... I guess that's it in the graveyard for the moment. We can't get our hands on... Oh, the heart-pounding grave digging tour. Yeah, see, I don't think we can do the grave digging thing until we're grown up, Link. I really wanted to get a freaking Skulltella. Ah, I don't pay the Gravekeeper. I'm in bed now. Go away and play. Maybe you can find a ghost in the daytime. <laughs> Sun Song freezes them. Really? Huh. I don't know if I knew that. I don't think I did. Good to know, though. Yeah, I don't think I ever knew that. So, we should be able to do... Let's see here. Actually, I know what I want to do first. I want to take Bird. We're going to hopefully use Bird. I think if you throw Bird... I think if you do this right... Uh, I think if you do this right... This is the hard part, though. I think if you do this part right, this guy's gonna push me off the ledge. Don't do it, fucker. Oh, you dick. I lost the... Oh, that guy. That guy. That guy just trolled the shit out of me. Oh, man. I think you can use the bird. The bird makes you fall slower. You can use the bird and you can land on that. Over there and you can go in that hole in the wall. Oh, that fucking guy. What a dick. What a dick that guy is. I'm pressing A. Link is not grabbing the bird. <laughs> Link, please. Please acquire bird. Thank you. Uh, what a dick that guy is. Why would he push me off there? I'm just a kid, man. Yeah, maybe I don't have to throw bird. I think I can just jump over there. But so I gotta do this quick, because this fucking guy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this guy. What a dick. But I think I can make it over there with bird. Oh, I biffed it. God damn it. But I'm pretty sure if I get over there with bird, yes, press A to acquire bird. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, so, but if I can get over there with the bird, I can. I'm pretty sure the bird will let me jump in that. I think I can clear that with the bird. If this guy will quit. Uh, Link, please. Uh. Oh, man. I was so close the first time. I'm, bl I'm gonna blame it all on the running guy. Running guy totally wrecked what I had going on here. I had a good thing going. And 
You ruined it. Link, please pick a bird. Thank you. Okay. Gotta move quick. Gotta move quick. Link, please. No! Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes! Heart piece. Choir. There we go. God, that guy. What a fucking dick that guy was. He really made that more difficult than it needed to be. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. And so if we return all the birds, I think we can get another heart piece. Uh, I gotta remember where all the birds are. Um, I know one bird is... You actually have to use bird to acquire other bird. You gotta, you gotta make this jump. So... Go like this. Grab this bird. I'll throw this one in the pen. He's the true villain. Yeah, he... You know, I, I, I was going... Things were going really smoothly there, and then he, he totally screwed me up. He just messed up my flow. Alright, so I gotta find... I can't. I think there's four birds? Five birds? Here, bird. So I need to find one Skulltella somewhere. But I think there is a hole we could fall in. Did you tell me how many more are missing? Wait, how many? Freeze wound up five more? There's seven of these little fuckers? Damn, I don't remember there being that many birds. Uh, I did not remember that many birds. No, I really gotta do some looking here. Yeah, I do not remember that many birds. <laughs> you have to do some serious. Oh, you know what? I think there's one in this box. I hear him clucking. There he is. Come to Papa. Link, please. The. Why you no grab bird? There we go. Holy cow. Please acquire bird. So we still gotta find. We still gotta find four more of these little these little shits, huh? Oh, maybe in the boxes. You know, this begs the question though. How how does bird how does bird enter box? <laughs> crazy crazy how nature do that. <laughs> like I, I <laughs> who who put the bird in the box? Probably the guy who was running up there on the beam. Look at that fucker. He's flailing his arms around while he runs and stuff. He's probably the one who put the birds in the boxes. And there's more of them. He's got brothers. Look at these guys all running around. Okay, so we need what? Three more, three more bird. Three more bird. No bird in there. Oh, I should have brought... I think if I use a bird here, I can get over there. I think that might be the only way to get over there, actually. Unless you can get him from the other side. Which, maybe... Oh, and you know what? I'm pretty sure if you get over there at nighttime and you climb up and get on the other side of the thing, I'm pretty sure there's a Skulltella behind the windmill. Pretty sure we can get number 10 back there. But I may have to let this roll over to nighttime. Let's see here. We got a box. Is there a bird in box? Bird, please. No. No bird. Uh, where? There's a bird. Okay, let's... Yeah, I want to... I want to use Bird to get on the other side of that. And then I think... So wait, that should be the last two though, right? She wanted, what, seven? And we have currently... Oh wait, four. So she needs three more? Three more. Link, please. I hope you guys are enjoying Bird Simulator. Uh, so now I think I think this bird will allow me to make this jump. Yes? Oh no. No. Oh, I might have to do it from on top of the fence. I think I might have to throw bird on top of the railing. And then you gotta like kinda juggle. I think. I think you gotta do. Link. Please. Why? Why are you not picking up the bird? It literally says grab, and he, he still still doesn't grab bird. 
Yeah, I think if you throw the bird on the railing, you can do some, some seriously janky garbage here. To get across. There we go. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. Ah, see, there's a hole here. Um, can't get in here. Granny's Potion Shop is not open yet. But I believe there is something in the hole. And this also gets us behind the... Behind the windmill. Which I believe... I don't even want to open this. I think it's just going to be rupees that I can't carry. This our wild's full. I guess we'll just open it. No point in coming back here later. Yeah. 20 rupees that I can't carry because I don't have a... I'm missing a skull tell us still. Uh, there's none down here, is there? No. But I'm pretty sure there is one behind the windmill. But only at night. So I need to get... I need to get this guy out of here. Because I don't want to have to... Coming back here to get him is going to be a pain in the ass. So then we just need... I guess we're, we're only missing one. I mean, one, one... We're technically missing two, but I know where one of them is. So we just need to grab one more... We need to locate one bird. Uh, I think Sunsong only goes one way. Let me try it. I think... I thought there was... Isn't there a song that also makes it nighttime? Or am I... Am I thinking of Majora? YRA. Let me try it. Let me see. Does it go both ways? It certainly appears that it does. Uh, good call, man. Good call. Now, the problem is the birds are inside during the day. So, how do I get over there with no bird? I didn't think about that part. Maybe I have to get back there and then change the time of day? I don't know how to get back there without a, without a bird. And they're not here at night. I hope I didn't just reset the bird capturing, by the way. I didn't think about that. I don't know if there's a way to get over there. Unless I can go through here and go out the back way. Maybe the way I've done it is always just the janky way, and you're not supposed to do it that way. I heard that our boss's house is just behind this house. He doesn't want any of us to know, though. No, see, this guy is currently blocking me. So the only way to get back there is with Bird. Oh, I hear a Skulltala. Where is he? Where? Where? <laughs> Where is that fucker? I definitely hear him. Ah, on the ladder. Okay, well, there we go. There's number 10. So, okay, that's good. So I guess we don't need to worry about the one behind the windmill for now. But I am like 99% sure there's one behind the windmill. And so that'll get me... Whoa, I just had a mini stroke. This'll get me the wallet. And then we gotta finish acquiring bird. So I gotta switch it back to daytime here after we get the wallet. I hope I didn't reset my bird acquisition progress by changing the time of day. Look at that dude just chilling down there. Just hanging out. Just stargazing. Yeah, I don't know if I can get back there without Bird. And Birds are only during the day, so I think we're not going to be able to get the Skulltala behind the windmill at this moment, but that's fine. I want to go get that wallet, though. And then we'll, we're going to change it back to daytime, we're going to finish Bird acquisition, and then we're going to finally move on. I want to at least get to Goron City tonight. So there should be a dude here, right? No? I really thought 10. I thought 10 got me something. Huh. No shit. Oh, no, there he is. Okay. I was going to say, I could have sworn 10 was the wallet. Yeah, there we go. 200 rupees. Okay. Good deal. So now we need to make it daytime. Let's toot the ocarina. What was it? Y-R-A? Yeah, I hope the I hope the cuckoos are all still there. Uh, 
Because if not, you guys get to watch. Well, I guess really, they're, none of them are that hard to get. Besides that one fucker behind the fence. That you gotta do the janky thing with. Oh, it looks like they're all still there. So I need to acquire... How many bird? Two bird? Two bird. Okay. But I think we got all the... Gotta get to rehearsal. Have a great stream. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Good luck at rehearsal. Okay. Gotta find two more bird. All day long, we're working on many construction projects in the village. It's going to take a while before everything is done. Our boss works this very hard. Uh, where is the last bird? So there's six. So we're missing... We're missing one... One bird. I, uh... I actually don't remember where the last bird is. Unless he's actually... Unless he's behind the windmill. Let me try to get back behind the windmill. This always feels so janky to do this. I was never sure if this was how it was how you were intended to do it. But I guess it is what it is. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna throw you back there. Let me see if he's behind the windmill. It's the only place we haven't really checked yet. I don't know how he would get up there. That's one smart bird. Especially considering they're they they can not really fly, I don't think. It'd be a pretty impressive feat for that little fucker to make it up here. There he is, I'll be damned. He really did. He made it all the way up here. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure there's a Skulltella here. A gold one. Okay, so there's all birds. We just, gotta, we just gotta throw them all in the pen. Oh, I wonder if I can make it from up here, too, instead of doing what I was doing. What I was doing with climbing on the, the wall or whatever. Where'd that other one go? That I threw. There he is. Okay. All birds. I think this is a heart piece? Maybe a bottle, actually. I really don't remember. Oh, yeah. Bottle number two. Good deal. Okay, so we're actually up to two bottles. We've had a pretty productive day so far. So we got two bottles. Uh, heart piece. Wallet. Let me just look around here before we head up Death Mountain. I am going to get to Goron City. I, 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 I can't help myself. i got to do all the little side stuff. Uh, oh, that's an unfortunate every, everything. Wowzers. Uh, hi, boy. Is this the first time you visited the village? A great woman, Impa, opened up this village to us poor folk. Well, make yourself at home. The food isn't ready yet, though. Wow. Frightening. Very frightening. She has four children. There's four bunk beds here. Wow. Is terrifying. Okay, uh, so I think we're we're pretty much done in the village for the moment. I think we've pretty much covered everything that needs to be covered. Uh, we can go in here, I guess, since he was in here. Oh, he went to play in the graveyard. Okay, so we're not going in there. And is this any different in the daytime? No. Okay. So, time to head up the mountain, and we need to bust out the Zelda letter. If I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah. This is, this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Okay. This is Link. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay. Alright, kid, you can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. What a dick. If only you knew, buddy. If only you knew. By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. 
I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I gave you. I'm just asking. Have you been to the Happy Mask Shop that just opened in the Hyrule Castle Town Market? Everyone is talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have the time to go there. So could you go and get the mask for me next time you're in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but... Well, I have no choice. This is my job. Uh... Yeah, we'll we'll make sure to do that. We're gonna hit up the mask shop. I wanna get I wanna get up the I wanna get up Death Mountain here. Ah, oh, Death Mountain looks sick. Death Mountain looks so good. God damn Death Mountain looks nice. Um So anyway. Uh we will get the masks. I think we also need to do some stuff at the mask shop to get Oh, that didn't connect, huh? Um do some other stuff with the masks. We need to, uh, there's like boulders down here, isn't there? Oh, I biffed it again. Um, here, oh, I think he's behind that wall that we can blow up. The Skulltella. But once we get to the mask shop, oh, like, please. My my dive my dive attack is not not working very well. Um, there's a hard piece up there. We got some Gorons. Ah, oh, look at these boys. I'm one of the Gorons, the stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. It blocks the entrance to Dodongo's cavern, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance. With if you want to hear more Goron gossip, head up to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. So, yeah, we definitely want to get the mask. Oh, I need those hearts. Badly. Um, I think we can do something with the mask in the Lost Woods. I think where all those uh, Deku scrubs were in the ground. I believe we can do something. Ah, the moon looks nice. This looks so good. I'm really happy with this. They say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Don't you want to see her? Uh, yeah, kinda. Okay, so Goron City is right up ahead, if I'm not mistaken. Please don't run me over, buddy. So let's, uh, let's head right up here. There's the bomb flower. We're gonna need to get our hands on the old bracelet. I'm standing here to shade this bomb flower from the sun. Uh, nope. I'm good. Oh, I have to ask him a question? I don't really want to ask him any questions. That plant growing over there is a bomb flower. It's a mining plant that grows only on this mountain. They usually grow only in dark places like caves. So bomb flowers that grow in a place like this are extremely rare. If you have the Goron's bracelet, even a little kid like you could easily pick one up with A. Thanks. Goron City was always really cool. I liked Goron City. Uh, it's got some good music, good atmosphere. You got the big rolling guy. Goron City was always pretty dang neato. I like the Ocarina Gorons more than the Breath of the Wild Gorons. There are some top tier bongos and lyrics. Uh, I want to be the guy... I think it's a person making those noises. Like, it sounds almost like monkey noises. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We are in, the danger, we are in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, Dodongo's Cavern. We Korons live on a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in Dodongo's Cavern. But that seems like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. Sigh. I want to eat the top sirloin rocks from Tonka's Cavern. Holy shit. And so, one of these is the shortcut back to the Lost Woods. Not here. I don't think I can do this yet. I think I need the hook shot for this. Pretty sure I can't do anything here just yet. One of these is the shortcut back to the Lost Woods. That guy's gonna run me over. Uh, where the hell is the Lost Woods shortcut at? We need to get the bracelet first anyway. I guess we should just go down. We can explore here in a minute. I'm like 10 steps ahead of myself constantly. Uh, 
yeah, this should be, oh, we need to actually, we need some fire to get these torches spinning, or to get that thing spinning again, there's something else we could do there, can I not, oh, I think I need to use the, I think I need the two, yeah, need to do some lullaby. I think this opens the door. Okay, uh, so tight for one second, I will be right back with you guys. This guy's name is like, it's like Darunia? My boy, my Goron boy. Oh. Okay. So. Let's see what's behind the big door. Yeah, I can't remember. I think it's, oh, sorry. My chair is like majorly fucked up here. I'm all tangled in my rug. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah, he looks awesome. I love the new models. They really did a great job on this. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived. But you're just a little kid. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? He's gonna have a temper tantrum. Ancient creatures have invaded, infested the Dongo's cavern. We've had a poor f harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. I have to toot the song again. And then that makes him chill a little bit. He, he simmers down a tad. What was it? Uh, X A Y. No, it's not here. I forget how I gotta make this guy simmer. I don't think that was it. Nope, that's not it. Uh, why aren't you just, why don't you just try being a little more chill? Okay. We are gonna go get this thing spinning again, though. Get the... Oh, we can blow it open with the bomb flowers. Oh, I totally biffed this. My sticks failed me. It's not gonna burn up. There we go. Wasn't sure if I was gonna make it. And I think we can actually use the bomb flower to also light the. Or I'm sorry, we can use the torch to light the bomb flowers on fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. And this takes us where? Oh. Goron shop. Interesting. Uh, I mean, none of this really matters at the moment. We can't use the... I am gonna buy this. It's only 40... It's only 40 rupees. And we have an empty bottle. So we got three potions. Which is nice. Uh, we might need them. Depending on how bad I suck. I'm trying to think what else we need to do here exactly. Chat with everybody. If I'm not mistaken, you came here to eat the redstone too. Well, too bad. It's not here. What? It's not why you're here? You're looking for a spiritual stone. You must mean that delicious looking red stone that was once displayed above the city. I was so hungry that I thought it would be okay to just give it one tiny little lick, so I sneaked up there, but it was already gone. I think Big Brother took it away. He always says that everyone is after that red stone. 
Big Brother has shut himself up in his room saying, I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. Oh, I have to show him the letter. That's what it is. I'm an idiot. I thought for some reason you had to play the song to him twice because he gets super rowdy. But I guess I gotta show him the letter. That was what I was missing. Right? No? Really? Maybe if I shove it in his face. Because I already played the song. The song didn't help me. Oh, maybe I just wasn't close enough. Huh. Weird. Because I did, I tried to play it in front of him. And I didn't get the, I didn't get the, like, the little doo-doo-doo -do -do when I busted the ocarina out. But I guess I just had to get a little bit closer. <laughs> so he would simmer down a little bit. <laughs> well, that's not quite what I was looking for. I wanted to hear a tune. Something from outside the mountains. Something green. Natural. Oh, I need Saria's song. Okay. I need Saria's song. So I need to make a little pit stop back to the... I don't know if I'm racing, though. Can I get far enough with fire to bust open the shortcut to the Lost Woods? I guess we're gonna find out. What's up with you? Oh? We don't get many visitors way up here. Where are you from? The forest. What's a forest? <laughs> it's where a lot of trees and plants grow? Now I'm even more confused. Nothing grows around here besides the bomb flowers. We don't have seeds or nuts around here either. Even Deku sticks are very scarce around here. Okay, I know about the trick to hide the sticks. Oh, he said, by the way, he hit a stick nearby. I don't want to know where he hit it. Um, so, I guess we're going to have to do some fire running, because we can't pick that up just yet. And if I'm not mistaken, the shortcut, maybe it's on this side? I'm um, still one floor too low. Please don't run me over. Oh, I did it. He ran me over. Um... So we have to bring some fire. I wonder if I can make it all the way up here with some fire. It seems like a long way to run with a Deku stick. Oh, there's torches right here. I'm an idiot. There's torches right there that I can light. That's the shortcut back to the Lost Woods. Okay. Okay, I think I'm good. Pretty sure I already know what I'm doing at this point. So I just have to refresh my memory a tad. Can light the bomb flowers, we can bust this open. We got ourselves a shortcut back, so we gotta learn Saria's song. And then we can uh we can get the Goron happy. Hey, over here. Hoo-hoo. Link, good to see you again. Listen to this. Hoot hoot. After going through the Lost Woods, you will come upon the Sacred Forest Meadow. That is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. What's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune, too. Nope. Follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming from the forest. So we can finally learn Saria's song. We can also buy the Deku Stick upgrade while we're here. Definitely not this way. I think it's this one. Yeah, we need to learn sorry song. the thing is when you're when you're grown up like yeah I can't do anything here yet I don't think I don't know 
I guess we'll kill this guy and see if the door opens. Oh, okay, it did. I guess I'm good. Man, this has been so long. Oh, I hear a... There's some Deku boys. I also hear a Skulltella, I think. Or is that the Deku? You should probably switch shields for this part. I mean, it really doesn't matter, I guess. I'll be fine. We can only bounce the nuts with the with the uh, the wood shield, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. We can still up here and kill these guys. Uh, why would I want to go? There's nothing here. I don't know why I'd want to go in the pond. I guess this is where we learned Saria's song. I really thought this was only for Grown Up Link, but apparently I was wrong. Oh, there's a hole over there. Kind of want to check that out real quick. See if there's anything in there. Lots of the creepy stones. Yeah, I definitely want to see what's in here. Oh, fairy fountain. Okay. Not a big fairy fountain. Actually, what we should probably do... I was going to say we should swap our red potion for a fairy. Because the fairy will pick us up when we die. Whoops. Um, but then i got to waste my red potion that I just spent money on. But that seems like a... Well, because the fairy... Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's, let's not, let's not. I don't want to waste the stuff I already spent money on. So, we'll, we won't get a fairy. Red potion and the milk should be plenty. I don't think we should be getting wrecked too bad by anything here, so. Anyway, let's go see Saria. Let's get that, get that tune. So we can get Darunia happy. And then we'll, uh... There's still a couple things I want to do in Goron City. I'm just gonna, just gonna do, my, do my sweet, my sweet ninja roll here. Right past those guys, didn't even know it hit him. And so it is still the Forest Temple, I guess it's just we can't really do much here as Bab because we don't have the hook shot, but we can still chat with Saria and get the song. I think you can do something else too with the song with the with the skull kid on the stump. I've been waiting for you, Link. This is the Sacred Forest Meadow. It's my secret place. I feel this place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. If you play the ocarina with me, I can teach you to talk to the spirits in the forest. Yeah. Okay, try to follow along with the melody I will play. Are you ready? RYX. I always like Saria's song. It's pretty good. Great. Please don't forget this song. Do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, play Saria's song. You can talk with me anytime. <laughs> You've learned Saria's song. All right. Good deal. Uh, I kind of want to poke around the Lost Woods a little bit before we head back to Goron City, I think. Having Saria's song... Might... Might get me some new... some new stuff. Can't remember if... Because I know there's a spot where you can play the Ocarina for the Skull Kid. Might as well refill our health while we're here. Uh, I think you can play a song for the Skull Kid. And I don't know if it's Saria's song, 
There's actually two places I think you can play the ocarina, now that I think about it. So, I don't know, but yeah, I, I want to check real quick. It's not like it's really going to be far out of the way, so we might as well. Definitely won't hurt. Uh, yeah, let, let's go look. I just got it'd probably be easier, honestly, just go all the way back to the beginning and start over. Did you learn an ocarina song from Saria? That melody seems to have some mysterious power. There may be some other mysterious songs like this that you can learn in Hyrule. If you hold the ocarina where a melody is necessary, a musical staff will appear. I recommend that you play a song you know. <laughs> I also suggest that you play even when a score is not displayed. Just like this. Hoo hoo hoo. Hoot hoot hoot. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Thanks for that. Okay, so let's let's actually just let's just take the wrong way and go back to the beginning of the Lost Woods. Because I want to check out both of those places in the in the early part here. We can also buy the Deku stick upgrade while we're here. I think this way is the one spot. See, I don't know if we have the right stuff yet for this. But I want to try playing Saria's song for this guy. Saria's was what? RYX. I think that's the right song. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. There we go. Nice. Heart piece. Real nice. Then I think over this way is the way to get the Deku stick upgrade. But we have to switch. We have to use the wood shield. So we can block the... So we can block this thing. Yeah, we might as well buy the stick upgrade while we're here. It's only 40 rupees. Right? I don't see any reason not to. We probably won't ever need to carry 20 Deku sticks, but, you know... Like, why not? So now we can carry, we can carry all the sticks. There's also another spot we can play the ocarina in here, if I'm not mistaken. We're already getting close to another heart piece as well. I feel like we've already, I feel like we've already accomplished a lot today. In not really that long. Less than three hours still. We're cruising right along here. And so where the... Where the game was, where you could shoot the target, there was also a spot you could play the ocarina down here. So I kind of want to take a crack at this and see if there's... I don't know if we have the right song for this spot, but let's see. Oh, follow along with our song. Okay. LRX. Simon says in the ocarina here. Other X Y X. Another heart piece. Ah. Uh, maybe if we do the whole song, we can get more. X L R. I want to keep going. I think if you do this whole thing, you might be able to get a hard piece or something. XLRX. XLRXL. XLRXL. Getting longer. XLR XLX XLR XLX XLR XLX Come on, give me that heart piece. Ah, come on. I want the heart piece, man. I want to get that I want to get that fifth heart. Wow. All right. Rx. 
Just gotta, sorry. I mean, I already talk out loud a lot, but L-A-O-R-X. Just so I can actually remember this. It's easier if I just keep saying it. L-A-O. L-A-O-R-X-Y. 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 Man, they're getting really long. L-A-L-R-X-Y-X. 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 L-A-L-R. L-A-L-R-X-Y-X-L. L-A-L-R-R-Y-X-L. L-A-L-R. L-A-L. Oh, no. Oh, I biffed it. I totally biffed it. Oh, I gotta do the whole thing again? Oh, no. Ah, oh, damn it. I, I, I lost it. I can't believe I biffed it. I can't believe I freaking biffed it. I can't freaking believe I did that. God damn it. X Y L A R X. X Y L A R X. Wait. Ah, oh, Jesus. How am I this bad at this? X Y X. I can't believe I biffed that right at the end. I'm still really mad. X Y X L A Y. X Y X L A Y. X Y X L A Y. X Y X L A Y X. XYXL AYXA. XYXL AYXA. XYXL AYXA. Okay. There we go. Yes, that's what I wanted. Okay, there we go. Five hearts. Holy cow. <laughs> that took me a lot longer than it should have. But yeah, so we're already up to five hearts. That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's get back to Goron Land here. Man, I can't believe it took me took me a couple attempts there. I kinda biffed it. I kinda biffed kinda biffed the song a little hard. Save that. Okay, so a couple more things. Oh, I need to relight this fire. But yeah, so we need to basically we need to work the fire all the way up to the top. Because I want to couple things I want to do here. I think if I get the fire even further up, I think we can... I think there's more to do. I don't know if I can make it this far with this fire. It's going to be pushing it. Ah, uh, yep, stick burn out. I think that might be as far as I can run the fire at the moment. Oh, you know what? There's not even anything up here. With the torches. We're good. So... I guess the only thing I really need to do for the moment, I guess we just need to play the song for Darunia. And get hit, hit by Rolling Boy. I'm jumping there. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let's play let's play the song for Darunia. Get them, all, get them all happy again. And then we will make some progress here. I already forget Saria's song. R-Y-X, R-Y-X. 
go. Get ready for the sweetest dance moves of all time. Look at those fucking dance moves. <laughs> now see this dude though, he did skip leg day. He is all he is all upper body. He's basically a torso with little toothpick legs. <laughs> hot. <laughs> what a hot beat. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so fucking goofy. Hey, what a nice tune. Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Darunia. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the Spiritual Stone of Fire, too? The spiritual Stone of Fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on. I'm not going to give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of Dodonga's cavern and prove that you're a real man? That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the Spiritual Stone. I have something for you. I'm not really, not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even that's what I wanted. Even a little fellow like you could pick a bomb flower using A. Okay, so we have a mission. That mission is to head into Dodongo's Cavern. We'll probably save Dodongo's Cavern for tomorrow. But there's a couple things I want to do now that we have our, our bomb glove. Because it might take me a little bit to do that anyway. There's a couple things we can do now that we have the bomb glove. Uh, I need to grab a flower out of here. I remember this taking me quite a while when I was a small bab to get this in here. But basically, if you can get a bomb inside of that, uh, if you can get a bomb inside of the pot, you get a heart piece? Maybe it's actually just rupees. Ah, uh, this, this, this is a pain in the ass. It's way easier if you come back when you just have the bomb back and do it. Might be easier to use this one, too. But it's it's definitely... I think it's easier when you can come back with the bomb back, because then you can just always... Come on. There we go. Maybe it's just rupees. I could have sworn there was a heart piece in here, though. Yes, no, maybe? Wait. It didn't. There's nothing. I. I don't understand. Do I have to do it multiple times? I honestly don't even remember. I'll try again. Oh, I think it depends on what face it lands on, maybe? I don't remember this. I know you can get something out of this pot. Yeah, I think it depends on what face it stops on. I think if you get the happy face, you get something. Maybe there is no heart piece in here. I honestly... I can't freaking remember now. I guess we'll find out here. I think there's two happy and one sad face. I need to get the happy face. There, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. That cash money, that heart piece, and those rupees. That's what I wanted. There's a couple other things we can do with the bomb flower as well before we head into Dodongo's cave. So I'm gonna do that as well. There's like a little secret room. Not really a secret room, but. Oh, and isn't it like if you stop the rolling guy, doesn't he give you something too? Where is the rolling guy? Where the hell is he? Camera, please. Oh, there he is. Yeah, what do you got for me, dude? Why don't you stop me? Don't stop me here. You can't stop my wild rolling. Wild rolling is the only way to relieve my stress. Now stand it off, my wild, wild rolling. Oh, he doesn't actually give me anything? Oh, no, he just runs me over instead. Uh, 
Is there somewhere specific I need to stop? If you can stop my wild rolling, you might get something great. So I guess I do need to stop him. But somewhere else. Uh, okay. Wow. I can't remember what this is. I think this is the guy. He's like a weapon maker. But we can't really do much with him just yet. I think that's only for when you're when you're grown up. Oh, another door, huh? I don't want to keep messing with the. Oh, I biffed it. I biffed it again. I think. I don't know if that was gonna work either. <laughs> I swear he's gonna run me over. So that's just laying down gently. Instead of throwing them. I don't know where I'm supposed to stop that guy at. I'm curious. I need one more bomb flower. I don't know if he has a heart piece or anything, too. Wow, another bomb flower. Holy shit. Seems like a lot of effort. That should be good, right? Yep. Yeah, this fucking guy. See, I don't think he can do anything for us at the moment. I think this is only for... This is for Grown Up Link. I'm working on something really cool right now, but I think it's going to take a while. If you can wait five or six years, it should be ready. <laughs> yeah, so... Can't even do anything with this guy yet. Oh, the hell, it wants me to stop this guy. Oh, I didn't even get him. He's coming for me. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, screw that. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get the secret room up here. Not even really a secret room. I think you actually have to go up there, don't you? There's like a rock puzzle up here. Or maybe I can't do this until after I have the bomb flower. I'm not sure if I can make it. I'm not sure if I can make it all the way up here with the bomb flower. I don't think the fuse is long enough. So we might actually have to save that until after... Well, let me try. I don't think I can make it. It's gonna blow up in my, in my face. Oh, it's gonna blow up in my face for sure. Yep. It almost seems like we should be able to make it, but I don't think we can do it. I'm gonna try one more time. But I don't actually think we can make that at the moment. I think it's just a little... It's a little too far. Yeah, it's too far. So... I'll go there. I wish I knew where to stop the rolling guy. I wonder if he wants me to stop him around his side. I would almost think that would make the most sense. Just because, you know, that's where the sign is. I don't know. Let's grab another flower and see. Oh, did I not get him? No, I missed him. I'm not sure where they want me to stop this guy. I could roll almost as good as him. Not not quite as not quite as good for him. But pretty respectable. Ah, it's gonna miss. Shit. Probably should. This is basically where I stopped him last time. I don't think I'm gonna get him. Nope. Not even close. I don't know where you're supposed to stop this guy. I'm really not sure if there's like some kind of specific spot. There's not gonna be enough time to get that flower over there, though. It's gonna blow up before I even get to run into him, I think. Oh, yeah. Not even close. Oh, I still didn't get him. Damn, I'm not very good at timing this. To say the least. We're right there. Come on. Oh my god, I missed again. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm just going to move on from this. I'm going to try one more time. But the timing here, this is way harder without the bomb bag. Like, when you can just throw bombs wherever you want, it's way easier to try and stop this guy. 
Honestly, I'm not even sure if I can stop him with the bomb flower. So I think it might be time to just move on with my life. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get to the right spot with the bomb flower. Oh, please. Why does he move so slow? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. I don't know, is that any better? Is here any better? Don't stop me here. Nope, okay. So, yeah, I think we are... I think we're done with Goron City. I don't really think there's anything else I can do here at the moment. Uh... Yeah, because I can't get a bomb flower all the way over to there to blow that open. That's going to be after we get our hands on the bomb bag. We're already, we already got a whole nother heart. Like, I'm not really, I feel like we're already making plenty of progress, so. Kind of getting ahead of myself. Wow, look at that super shiny bracelet model Link's got on. Looking pretty good, little man. Uh, I think there might be... There might be a couple other things we can do with the bomb flower before we go into the cavern. I know, I mean, if we just pitch one right over here, it's gonna open the, it's gonna open the cave. Right? Did I get it close enough? Yeah. <laughs> it blew their sign up, too. So... I don't know if there's anything else I can do at the moment, which is the, which is the bracelet. So there's a, there's one here that I can blow up, but I don't think I can get the bomb flower all the way over here without it blowing up in my face. I think we might need the bomb bag. Oh, you can see Kakariko down there. Let me try and climb this. Or wait, no, I can't yet, because I need, I need the actual bombs. I can't do this with bomb flower. So yeah, I think I'm pretty much, I think they're pretty much railroading me right into Dodongo's cavern. Uh, yeah, I think I'm, I think I don't really have much of a choice at this point. We can always come back, and we can do a lot more once we get the bomb bag out of the cavern. But right now, we're kind of railroaded into this, so I guess, uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's all we can do at the moment. The second dungeon. My boy Dodongo. But I think what we're actually gonna do, I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna stop it here for today. We're already at the we're we're already at the three hour-ish mark. And I don't wanna start a whole dungeon now. Cause I'm not gonna play through the whole dungeon in one sitting before I'm gonna stop. So I think this is a good place to stop, and then we'll pick up with Dodongo's cavern tomorrow. But yeah, I mean we still we got a good bit done today. For our first session here so yeah i'm gonna stop here for today but tomorrow same time as always we're gonna uh we're gonna pick up with dodongo's cavern we'll get some bombs fight some dinos it'll be a good time lots of lava <laughs> it'll be good so uh thanks for thanks for watching guys and i will uh i'll see you hopefully back here tomorrow we'll go beat up some dinosaurs but until then take it easy